Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. It's Coffee Talk, baby. Welcome. Welcome. To the motherfucking show. It is Coffee Talk. I've got my Coffee Talk shirt on. And, I've, a... and I've made us some coffees. Now, you didn't realize, my guy, but for the audio <laughs> listeners, Reagan, can you tell me what this mug is? Toucan, my man. It's a toucan. Now, you it's fucking... 30 right now. Flap your gums. It's a coffee, it's a toucan on the coffee mug, my boys. Tim is all about it. I didn't even know we owned that. Yeah, it's mine. I bought that ages ago. Oh, it's yours? Yeah. Oh, all right. Ugh. I was like, I'd never seen that cup before. Megs would have said something. That's I like it. It's a good cup. Quite neat. No, um, quite neat. For those wondering, I'm, I'm boring. Black. I feel like... You're, uh, you're with me at the opposite. You're a special, special boy. Having <laughs> some sugar, get the and fucking some milk. The call out, the call outs today. Okay, I'm, I'm <laughs> no, diamond. To be fair, that's really normal. I'm like diamond, in Australia. I'm a fucking weirdo. Diamond in Halo, and you're calling me out like that. Respect your elders. Oh, yeah, true. Right. You're right. Hey, no. how long have you been playing ranked for, my guy? Maybe like five games more than you. Well, fair enough. Okay. So, but you had me carrying you, so you were ranked up better. <laughs> you're you're carrying me, dude. You're, but you we were winning against diamonds the whole time. Yeah, I mean, we were thrashing cheeks. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so let, let me just conclude some clarification. There's three conversations I need to unpack yeah, quickly just yeah. so we can offset them. We can go jump back into Halo. Yeah. I like. I have two coffee, uh, two coffees, and then no sugar. Um, with like just let's say caramel colored milk, like you know, mostly water with a bit of milk. A good dash. Just so it cools down, because I want to drink that within the next five minutes. I don't want to wait and. <sighs> Blow on it. Yeah. You know, not interested. So, but sometimes when I'm feeling like my my BS is low, uh, I don't. But do you, do you know, can you ever sense your blog sugar is low? You're like, yeah. 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 I, I'm like, oh, it's not that often. Want something a bit yeah. sweet. And it's yeah. like five grams of sugar. So I just add that. I'm like, two spoons of sugar, or whatever. And I, I hope you didn't do a teaspoon. Like, I literally just, some, most times. No, just, I get it. I got it and just went. Yeah. Most times, if I want sugar, I'll just add a half a sugar, but usually I have it just straight. Yeah. Um, I just did a flat spoon. And I was like, it's, like, it's like a dessert. It's like a treat, you know? And I have a crumble. Yeah. And it's in a donut cup as yeah, well. Yeah. So it's really special. I'm going to savor that, dude. Yeah. What um, was the other two things? You said three things. I could have been exaggerating on three. Uh, that's basically it. Um, I'm packing. I've got a book I want to talk about later. Uh-huh. And then back to Halo. So the point is, oh, this is number three. The point is, guys, Tim and I have been playing We've Halo. Over two. Tim just moved in on Thursday. Fuck yeah. We're in, boys. We're in. We're in. So basically the gist is now, is is that stuff going? I can't. I can't. Yeah, it's good. Great, great. This yeah. is good. This is good. Good start. Um, I did all the pre-mic checks, but I was, ne- you know, never sure. Um, yeah, you're good. So Tim and I, Tim just moved in. He's literally moved his PC in, like literally as soon as possible. Ain't ain't no XP waste, guys. Um, so <laughs> no XP waste. Dude, so been we've been that? playing. We played Halo Thursday night. No, Friday night. We Thursday. played them two nights. Friday night, Saturday night, and that was it. I thought we played three nights in a row, but no. no, we played like we stayed up late till three, then we stayed up late till two, then we stayed up late till one. Um, yeah. And now back to three o'clock probably tonight. No, I've got an alarm. I've sorted it out. All right. Um, but basically we've been playing Halo. Tim and I said when he moves in or we want to play Halo together, but we're both not really good about like communicating and keeping up with the Joneses with each other. So In Halo? No, in like, you know, with, with yeah, with video games at least now because we do try and make an effort so like, you know, in real life. Um, but, you know, when you work, we don't ever play games together often. Often. True, yeah. But now well, most he's stuck are, with me. Yeah, but see, I the difference is you're big on flapping your gums during Halo. And I'm like, no, nah, it's fine. What do you mean? Oh, like you call everything out and I'm like, I'll call some things out. That's fine. But I think it's because... Is it working Is it working your benefit though? No, but that's because you stand right next to me. I see it too, lots of it. Yeah, so I just kind of go, I hear, I filter everything out besides the location you say. That's fine. Because if you, I, I filter out if you go help or there is someone there, I just go whatever. I just hear you say like stairs. I'm like, right, there's something going on at the stairs. And I'm like, I'm close or I'm like, I'm too far away. It's not my problem. Like, mm. And that's how that's I'm like, and it works perfectly. Okay. Yeah, and like, it does yeah, work. But me, I feel like I'm a bit more like, 
every like minute and a half, I'm like, oh, there's a fucking cunt that's real low at, you know, stairs. And then that's all I'll say, I'll shut up. Yeah, no, I've, that's from me being a professional Fortnite player. And also you can hear game chat and I can't for whatever reason. Well, that's so annoying though. But I'm a professional Fortnite. That happens to so many of Fortnite, my games, dude. Fortnite player, Tim. <laughs> uh, true, professional. true, true, professional. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, okay. So yeah. how, I hope everyone else is doing well. Well, if you're not, too bad because we can't, you can't tell us about yeah. it. So, But yeah, so um, we've talked about me coming in here for a while, a hot mm-hmm. minute. I'm here. I've arrived. Yeah. Big splash. Yeah. Big skabloosh. Um, um, I had a stressful day. Not going to bother getting into it today. Oh, was it? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> I was like, I'm about to, uh, I'm no, about the to either lose everything mm. and I'm about to be I'm having a stressful job. couple of months. No, no, not that. No, 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 no. Uh, about, no, have you seen the meme? No. Oh, yeah, the English tick or whatever. I'm going to lose my job. No, you being the pedophile? Bad, no, I'm going to lose everything. The pedophile? Yeah, it's not a pedophile, is yeah, it? Yeah, got uh, caught like recording kids or something. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, I never saw like, the original. I'm, I'm nervous. And the guy's like, yeah, you should be. Oh, really? <laughs> I'll show you later, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude, I had to know that was the original. Oh, my um, God. I just saw yeah. TikToks of that. So, like, Slimbo. Slimbo um, got his car serviced because his car for whatever reason, was magic um, or hacked by a, a little bit um, agency and uh, would not accelerate. <laughs> um, so he would drive down the, a, a, a motorway, a, a busy, busy motorway, and uh, the acceleration would not work. This is so much more dramatic <laughs> than it is. Uh, I'm not going to correct you. Continue. So basically, you his, read through the lines, people. His acceleration did not work going through the motorway for whatever reason. So he had to coast because the acceleration would not work. He'd have to coast, like you know, when you put it in drive and you let it like just roll forward. Yeah, That's what he was saying the they grade. had to do. Yeah. Now he could be full of shit. I can't. I wasn't there, so I can't validate him. He could be talking schmack. That's fair enough. Um, <laughs> don't know why I would lie. Then leave my car for too long. And then the battery oh. die. Oh yeah, and then and then so then Tim proceeded to leave his car on a ditch on I the side started of a ditch. To, no, I um, brought it. Okay. And, and then and then he he towed it back like Hercules back to his house, yep. um, where it true. sat and slumbered for several days. Collected webs. Um, collected webs. Spider Man and, and also <clears throat> Iron Man took a juice from his battery that left his battery empty. So Dude, today he had to go to fucking cunt. Antarctica to get a new battery, which uh, weighed 12 kilos. And then he proceeded to also throw his old battery in the bin. I said to Tim, why don't you just, you know, keep it? Because you can, you know, do stuff with lead. Like you can do some cool shit with lead. Yeah. Like you can make like, my, my stepdad literally makes um like tackle. Oh yeah, that's good. And like um diving belt weights as yeah. well. Yeah. So, and it's good money as well. I'm like, but ding, entrepreneur, fat cash. Yeah. Because you use like lead weight belts. No, nah, chucked it in the fucking garbage bin. Like, yeah, even well, if, I threw even it in the bin before I heard you say that. So. I know, but there's no, no, I'm just saying for them, you, you should know better. Sound no, bad. You should know better. I should have known better. True. Um, But even if you took it to the scraps, I think you get like 20 bucks or 50 bucks or something. That's right, probably. 50 bucks. Depends if the bin came, because if it didn't, it's still in there. I'll let them, I'll text them right now. Jules, you fucking fella. Put some clothes on and get the bin. Let, get outside. Imagine your mum like just being like in her like ninety, out at like twelve o'clock, f- scoping through the bin to like pull out this battery like a bloody meth addict. <laughs> yeah, mm. we've got people that come by the house and go through like the recycle for like empties for like the ten cents. Yeah, because you you guys are too rich to recycle yourself. You know what's that's funny? a fact though. Oh. The, the untrue. I literally did it last week. No, not you, fucking idiots. I'm saying you're southern. Yeah, I don't know. Tim's rich. Tim lives in a rich neighborhood. It's a nice rich neighborhood. White people, because they're racist. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, I kind of wish it was true. It'd be kind of funny. But the the houses that, around me, it's funny because I know like the two. Na- anyway, like can, the can majority of the neighbors second? around me, they all. Yeah, that would be the a guy. Get, the guy skips past our house every time I see him. He skips past he these knows. few houses because he just knows it's like. Oh, yeah, so stuff. that would be like a credit vibe. to the dude. The dude's old and he remembers. Yeah. So I don't know how Man's many hustling. how how many houses he goes by. It's it's not. It's but like time is money. It's not a list, my dude. It's like literally just like this bin skips. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, um, I just think it's impressive for like yeah. a fucking like 
I'd probably guess late sixties, early seventies doing it, you know, huffing along. Yeah, yeah. Um that would be a vibe for old five minutes of it. It's to be like in like a I might as well go to a retirement home. But like do you know like America where they have like the really conservative part, like a states? Mm-hmm. When it's like two lawyers. Uh, like, you know, like literally is like, you know. So you're gonna say like country clubs or whatever. No, 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 it's like they like they're like closed off neighborhoods, like both parents are do- lawyers or doctors or fucking accountants. And they're like, they're like the sort of people, the sort of people that like, were like chasing people off their lawns with guns. Remember that, <laughs> remember that thing in like 2020? Yeah. Those guys were like, get off our lawn. Oh yeah. And, then, and how she was holding it. Like yeah. A, yeah. <laughs> like imagine just being on a fly on the wall, just conversing with them for like a week. But like, how the fuck do you think? Yeah. Odd, 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 odd people. I would prefer to know what the dude thought because I don't care. It's a wild card. He was card. employed, is, is how I took that. If you know, if you catch my drift. He was what? He was employed. Employed. Yeah. It seemed like she didn't have much going on. Oh right. And I'd be a bit bored with just seeing her. Yeah. Complain about some cooking show on it. Fucking. Have you seen? Morning. Well, you know, people are bored. People got things to do. You know, watch Ready Steady Cook. Dude, what was the old one? Um, red. What was those red and ve- uh, red? Steady cook. Is that what it was? With the, the caps again in the apple and the tomato. Oh, the tomato. Yeah. Why did I yeah, fuck that right. up? Sorry. Um. So I'm. S- but yeah, no. It's the. It'd be a fun time, but it, that that like that reminds me. You're talking about chick. I remember this like. Some guys recording with this like camera like this, and some chick or dudes like yelling in his face, and he looks to the right, and there's like this old lady who like looks fucking. Plastered and she's like, "Hello, <laughs> it's fucking so odd." What is it, a video? Yeah, it's just like a like a, a vine or something. You know, oh, you know what's funny? I don't know. Was it maybe you showed me this TikTok? There was a TikTok. Um, well, maybe it was just no, no, no. It was just a small. I think it was a YouTube short. I mean, it may as well be a fucking TikTok. Anyway, this chick was saying, "I'm convinced." Because you know how com- Vine compilations are still being uploaded to this day? Yeah. She was just saying, I think it's possible that someone, <laughs> this is a good take, someone could just be inserting their own short videos and claiming their Vines, but just putting them in the Vine compilations and just going retroactively, oh, yeah, I was a Vine star. And I'm like, dude, people could absolutely get away with that. Like, no one would, because you can't verify I assume. I mean, maybe there's no. Like, you can't. Like, I'm. There might be like a um. What do you call the websites? Um. Fuck, I'm forgetting the word. It starts with an A. And I think. Dude, that's the whole thing about like. You know what I mean? Though? Persuading like, people you and just like put it in, and for pers- six months, people will be like, "Oh, dude, that was my favorite Vine star," and to see if they're just like grifter fans or whatever. That's literally like a perfect way to like persuade people into like changing their memory. What well, can we do something? Yeah, because you can like for six you can lie to people and like get them to convince that they like were at something that they completely were not, and they go, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Is it this one? Oh, let me see. No. Nah. Reagan is finding a video. I need to find it. It's just like really funny. It's like he's he's. But yes, yeah, so I've moved in. Oh. Yep. Sorry. Keep no, going. No. no, no, keep going. Um, I moved in. Good times. Um, I won't bore the people anymore. Yeah, so what do you... Good times. Well, they're not bored, but like, what what are we here to do, Tim? Clock on. I know we've got to talk about clocking on. But... Clock, clocking on. Um, uh, we usually talk about this kind of stuff at the end, so fuck it, we'll talk about it at the start. Um, so I'll try and make a note of... I think... Um, let me just jot this down. Um, we usually talk about this kind of stuff at the end of the podcast. Um, but you know what? For those that are clicking on here for the news and you've made it this far in, Welcome to us. Um, we'll get to the news in a bit. There's not too much news anyway. There you um, go. Go on. Taking pictures of people who stop by illegal drugs. This is fucking funny. You come over take- so the video's come confronting my nasty neighbor, stands in my driveway to take pictures. Taking pictures of people who stop by illegal drugs you do in your garage. Oh, this is one of the outdoor outdoor garage. Oh, yes, it is. Hello there. <laughs> Hello there. Hello, Hello sweetheart. sweetheart. Hello there. <laughs> Dude, oh. she that's looks gonna like, be she... that dude's mum. And yeah, that yeah. dude is like at least fifty-five. 
<laughs> Dude, it's like it was kind of like fish eye. <laughs> it was like fishbowl camera. Or fish eye. She, she was like got these bug eyes eyes, like hello there, yeah, with what like no teeth, doing? and then he's like, <laughs> he's just like this. This dude's convinced that he's doing fucking drugs. <laughs> Um, yeah, so what are we here for? What am I here for? Um, yeah, like I said for the third time, we usually do this kind of talk at the end, but fuck it. Um, let's ramble a little. Yeah, so basically... Clock on. Tim and I always talk about doing a boot camp, and it's something that we both have been trying to work on and strategize for this long time. And a lot of talk, i got to be honest, but the main benefits is increasing our... Uh, our value now not necessarily wealth that'd be great um but it's not the main factor it's increasing our value as men and as as individuals tim um so we want to you know the few things we want to focus on is health social like not necessarily social status i think that's the wrong word but like work on the way we engage in conversations work on you know how we i guess like conduct ourselves as individuals and as fellas Mm-hmm. Um, and I think the other thing is the big thing, although I don't know where to categorize this is just create daily habits that we use that hopefully, you know, even if it's a 1% gain every day, um, you know, over time, you know, will become 37 times better mm-hmm. in one year. Now, hang on a minute. Could you tell me, Reagan, where you got that idea from my guy? Yeah, of course. Tim. So before you say it. He said we want to start some daily daily habits. We've got similar ones, um, but reading is something I did back in the day, and I just wasn't consistent with it. And I'm like, fuck this! I'm just going to yeah. start reading. So basically, it's part of the morning routine for me anyway. Yeah. So and similar to Rags. I used to be, I got somewhere. I used to read the Premier's Reading Challenge. Um, you could get like I faked all of them. I think most people did. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I got to like, I got in a few years, I got to like champion, which was like the, the most, cause I think it started when I was <laughs> like, I don't know. It was like the most in primary school. And then I think if you went beyond that, they didn't give you like a, a medal. They gave you just a like clap a clap on the back, a clap, like a pat a on the back the and, a, and the clapping cheeks from the principal himself. <laughs> um, and like a plaque or whatever. But they, I think they continued that in high school. So like, you know, I mean, I think it was in year 12, we had people getting the Premier's Reading Challenge. It was like Hall of Fame or fucking something like that. And it's like 10 years in a row or something stinky. Dude, I did not know that. I, then they got, there was like three people who got it. I'm like. This is still going? So was it every year or was it like <laughs> yeah, every Yeah, it was every year. year. I was like, this is still going. Wow, I didn't know that. And it's still gay. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Um, but I did like reading. I really liked. Because I'm like a visual like I, I i like i can my i have an in a in a mon, like in a monologue but i also can um like i think in pictures mm-hmm. um so what i really like fiction because <laughs> fiction because fiction you can like paint a picture in your head so like del, del toro quest was sick okay like it was really cool um to like read and oh, it's probably like not a com- comprehensive book i like reading all those and you can like read once what you can you know read them back to back and you know that's a whole you know premier reasons challenge done, but literally as soon as I got to high school I didn't read much um, and I basically came dyslexic. I got hiccups and I haven't read since, so I had to slog through basically from August till you know last week was it Thursday. Reading The Big Short. And I really like The Big Short. I like Did finance. Did you finish that last Thursday? I think so, yeah. Okay. Or Wednesday. I really like finance. I like The Big Short. I like the movie. Um, I read the book. It's really great. But the issue is it's very like, it's like autistic, right? So It's you, about the 2008 financial crisis and a couple of groups that heard about it or predicted it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's basically the, 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 the cliff notes. But the way it reads is quite autistic. I, I, I love it. It's great. I like how it's like so like information dense but it's like how i think every day so it's not like refreshing to read that <laughs> in that right. in that same thought process right. um so if you want to read it like that i think it's really well written and you said the the actual font size was quite small so it's yeah like, and the font size is quite small well. and, and so it's may, it might not be a hard book but it was my first book back it was you know quite dense with a lot of like information and this is like information that you know finance is still quite don't like quite grasp so it's like you know, for me to be as a non-financer, like financial person, like in actually, you know, 
in that space earning money from it, um, like sorry, as a job or had a degree in it or whatever, it's uh, hard to absorb that information easily. Um, but yeah, but what I'm holding here to go back to the point is I'm re hold a book and I'm reading a book called Atomic Habits uh, by James Clear. Um, and it is a fucking remarkable book. It tiny changes, remarkable results. So, you know, it says on itself. So, it's one of the bigger self-help books. Um, most I, people I never heard it. of it. I, I've heard, I bought that, um, cause I'm in a similar story with reading. Yeah. Um, basically I wrote, read a lot of, um, kind of fantasy books back in the day. The Magician series. For those oh, that, you! For, I remember you re, you buying them in the, like after school the, even. Yeah, I, I read. I think I don't even know how many there are now. I think it ended in twenty thirteen with Magician's End. I think there was something like twenty six of them. I read like seventeen, bro. What the um, fuck? and then I just stopped. Um, I'd like to eventually get back to it, but anyway. Uh, so I enjoyed reading. Um, but uh, non fiction stuff. I'm not. I wasn't that interested. But I'm all, I've always, since basically being like 16, I've been interested in nonfiction stuff, but just not books. So, you know, if I've, if yeah, like if YouTube, if YouTube history, a podcast about so-and-so, a doco about World War II, whatever, stuff yeah. like that. I'm like, oh, cool, that's interesting. But I just never read. Anyway, so um, rather than reading history books, and I'm not going to make the, dare I say, mistake of reading something like The Big Short. You no, know, you should. I definitely would recommend reading it. But not straight away. No. So that's what I mean. Um, make my way through with uh, easier, yep. you know, books um, and finish a book that I'm halfway through. Uh, anyway, I've got like 15 books in the fucking room. I think I can. I have 14 I've got or 16. As well. Yeah. And I'll give you fucking. Obviously, oh, don't give, worry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, I'm with you. And I have that book as well. So it's quite funny when I saw it on your desk. Yeah, you held it up. And I, like, right. I went, oh, look, I got this as well. So, so yeah, you're ahead of me on that one. But I've heard so many people talk about that. I legit know like it's easy. a good chunk. Like I'm I'm like Have 60... you heard about the have they got to the English cyclists and that yet? Yes. That was a yes, great Yes, that's the very story. start bit. So I'm only like sixty pages through. I've just started picking it up and I feel like it's like already and maybe I'm in that honeymoon phase, but I've really thought like fuck, they're very, very easy concepts that I've kind of thought about before, but like literally when you like put words to ideas. Put words to it and literally just make it like Four steps. It's like, Jesus, this is fucking insane. Yeah. Um, so, for example, and this is just to conceptualize. So it's really well written. It's got a contents, like, page. So it tells you, you know, it's uh, not contents page, like a contents. So, you know, page 217 is about X, Y, and Z. Um, but it's really cool. And it, like, talks about the four laws um, and then, you know, advanced tactics. So it's quite pretty easy read book. And the, and the, the concepts aren't hard to understand. But there's a few that I thought were quite interesting. Um, so basically there's an idea about getting, you know, the 1% better every day. Um, and this is concept that if you were to increase 1% from your previous self every day, just like compound interest, you, you know, you would quickly see really fast results. So, and that's something that I had to really, you know, I'm struggled with understanding because I've literally said verbatim, I said, I know I'm doing a lot of the right things. And I know it's for the right reasons, but I don't feel like anything's happening. And I know it's like we'll get there, but right now I can't see any results. And so when I was reading this book, I almost cried because I'm like, that literally feels like me because I've like gone to this plateau where I'm just like, I keep, you know, every day I'm trying to do one extra little thing, not too much because I know it's going to get burnt out, but one little extra thing to, you know, get there. Mm. And, you know, it doesn't feel like that. And this was just like, put the intellectual part of you at ease because you're like 15 nice. pages in yeah. you know you're like fucking sigh big you know breath yeah. of relief and you're like cool yeah like not not that you were thinking you're insane but you're like cool roger that yeah i can someone has someone also agrees and they're probably smarter than me and they've put this in a better way yeah truck through. so i was going to say there's a basically I'm, i should have the notes um, so I mean, we don't need to do a massive book no, review, but yeah. no, no, it's not a book. It's not a book review. It's just trying to get that the concept of the, the English cycling. I just want to get the guy's name. So you oh, know, yeah. since so literally from the stats, since 1908, British riders for the English, you know, f you know, cycling team have only won a single gold medal at the Olympics, and they ha um, and they haven't won anything in the Tour de France. So in 110 years, they have never won an event in the Tour de France, which it's pretty shit, right? 
like who else in 110 years, who else was riding in the Tour de France? Was it, would it just like Britain, Switzerland, <laughs> France, a, you know? That's a good question, actually. I wonder who. Um, so the British team has been really shit for ages, you know, even to quite recently. Uh, but basically, I'm just trying to find that guy's name. Um, Brailsford, I know his last name, but I don't know what his first name is. Dave. Dave Brailsford. So basically, he was a new performance coach at the um, British team, like the British cycling team. And he basically threw out the old, old concepts of conditioning, you know, diet, eating, whatever, because like those are, you know, too, too far focused. You're too focusing too much on X, Y, and Z. But he thought he would take the 1% rule where it's he's going to make 1% differences in every single position. It doesn't matter how micro, like microscopic, 1% you know, improvements. And if you were to combine all those 1% or, you know, whether you, you know, add them all up or multiply them, you would get a compounding of benefit and that would hopefully make the team get better and win results. Mm. So I'm talking like literally going to new fabric makers and getting new fabrics built. Um, I think, of you know, reducing seat, um, talking about reducing seat weight, a good, um, yeah. and changing. A good one was um, they brought their own pillow from home. To hotel yeah, room adjusting so that they the could pillows. Have a better sleep, yeah, so they'd have at least a consi- They wouldn't have their mattress, but they'd at least have the the pillow, so they'd have a consistent kind of. Yeah, yeah. I don't. There's not like an easy list because you know, obviously, it's for the reader. But you know, it's talking about you know better sleep. Um, they might they make the bite seats more comfortable. Um, they rub they rubbed alcohol on the tires to make them better. Um, huh. the, the the riders had to wear electrically heated over like their shorts over their over their shorts. Uh, to maintain maintain ideal muscle temperature whilst riding, for you know maximum maximum um, like recovery, right. um, and other sensors and all that stuff, just so they can like fine tune and improve each individual spot. Yeah. Um, so and, if you just think about those few that we just mentioned there, yeah, like you've probably not one percent is probably a bit of a downgrade, but like the pillow itself would probably be, and this is under under shooting it, probably at least five percent. You know what I mean? And like yeah. the seat more comfortable, that would probably be a good 5%. You know, the shorts, you know, yeah. it's probably like 10, but let's just say, you know, that 555, five, five, you know, and then you combine them together, you know, you might have just got over two months, you know, I'm just guessing here on how long it took, but let's just say that was two months of, you know, squaring away and then another three months of whatever, yeah. practicing with it. You know, you've just gone like 40% better yeah. with just little what most of us would be like, oh, that's just like yeah. anal changes, but it's, but it's just like, it's like that insignificant. Level. And the, the, the point is that previous teams, including, um, and I think teams are doing this nowadays, and you could see that with the American team changing their um, like bathing suits that were then banned from the Olympics, so they were too good. Oh, really? Yeah, they were called oh, shark suits or something like that. Um, but it could probably run the same time. But um, the gist is that a lot of coaches traditionally would just go, okay, athlete, work harder, train harder, you ride harder, but there's like, there's all these other little wins that you can win and compound to not say the rider has to work not as hard, but the same effort they put in yesterday gives you a better benefit out for tomorrow. And the great thing is just a couple of those ones there we mentioned is like the rider could still practice and just do what he did before. But if he was given his pillow from home and he got to keep that and take that with him through the airport and he got a comfortable, more comfortable seat and he got a new pair of shorts. It's like, he doesn't do it, change anything. No. Someone just, <laughs> oh, here's your new seat. And he's like, right, go get used to that. Yeah. Ride for and 10 and hours. to compliment that, um, they painted the inside of the team truck white to help them spot bits of dust that would normally slip by unnoticed, but could degrade the performance of the finely tuned bikes. Damn, there you go. Which has nothing to do with the rider. Right. Right, like you actually having this team, most of the team doesn't be a team, but like they're literally doing, like taking things in their own hands. It's got nothing to do with the rider themselves, which is kind of cool, right? So what was the white doing? So they could the spot white, dust. White is the, you know, you can see white, like marks on white, like yeah. really easily. So yeah. they painted the inside of the truck white yeah. so they could spot dust in the air. Whether it's big dust or small dust. But how would dust. that translate outside? Um, I assume it's just for storage, or you know, you know, moving the bikes in between places and all that stuff. Oh, okay. I'm not sure, but I assume that could affect you know, um, or degrade, like the brakes or the. Look, I don't, I don't know. Okay. Oh, so it's just for keeping the equipment. Keep the equipment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Right. It's not because I I was thinking like you know so their truck. 
is why so that when they're on the road riding they've got a better eye for seeing shit i'm like oh yeah. okay i could see it like yeah just because i don't you know i when i look at a white wall i don't see a white wall because i've got so many um floaters and yeah lights yeah, yeah. So, so anyway so the point of this and there is a point is that in five years all these little effects and changes that they could make a whole book out of the whole point is although there may not have been a significant benefit in within that year or two years or whatever, those small changes everywhere and small, you know, I'm saying atomic changes, um, compounded and over five years compounded so fucking much that basically in the, um, 2008 Olympics in Beijing, they won 60% of all gold medals available for, um, cycling. Um, four years later, when the Olympics came to London, the Brits, uh, raised the bar and set nine Olympic records and set s seven world records. And this is from, you know, 110 years of being the worst cycling team. So in they the hired this bloke in yeah. what year? Dave Brailsford. So that would have been um, 2003. Okay. And then in five years later, Five years of compounding small They won things. 60% they, of things. And, and, and five years. to be clear, the, 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 the very important thing is that not only did they got bet they got better, they became the best. Yeah. Now, that you, whether you can go, oh, that's not enough evidence or whatever, but I'm saying like not only did they got better, they became the best. And then now the one strong, the strongest team currently. Mm. Um, Got to give props though. He'll probably go unnamed forever to whoever managed that team. Yeah. Because if for five years he wasn't producing results, you know, people would be like, "Get the fuck out of here." You know, he might yeah. be like, "Oh, look, we just improved another ten percent." They'll and they be go, like, oh, "And you still lost, off. my guy. Yeah. Yeah. You still lost." Like, yeah. you know, props to whoever the fuck. Four years of losing yeah. to get to the fifth year and go, yeah. Yeah. And that's something I have suffered with is uh, the plateau. Um, it's like pushing through that plateau. They, they yeah, go into it. that. You were telling me about that. I'll, I'll talk about it in a sec. Um, but yeah, so in 10 years, the cyclists won 178 world championships and 66 Olympic and Paralympic gold medals and captured five Tour de France victories in what is widely, widely regarded as the most successful run in cycling history. Damn. From being the worst... So in less than 10 years, was it? 2003 yeah. to 2011? 2007 to 10, uh, 17. Okay. That's so, pretty fucking crazy. So is that yeah. 14 years from 2003 yeah. to 2017? So, damn. 2003 investment, first victory in 2007, and then following 10 years of just straight victory. Gotcha. That's domination. That's domination. Now, that's just that's not necessarily habits in itself, although you could argue that because there's a team managing you. It's just to demonstrate this uh, small gains, although it may well, seem we, insignificant. It's to demonstrate, I think, the subject. The atomic, the, uh, atomicity. The tiny, ch the tiny, tiny changes. Remarkable you know. results. So it's not the habits part of it, but it's the atomicity of small improvements can compound. Yeah. So the point I was going to, and I just wanted to elaborate as a you know a, an example is that if you get 1% better every day, and that's 1% from the day before, so today I'm going to be 1% better, tomorrow I'm going to be 1%, and then if you just burn that in your head, nothing else, in one year's time, and just all, you know, 365 days, you can do the maths yourselves, 1.01 .01 to the power of 365 results in 37.78. That's 37.78 times better you could technically, and I know this seems a bit dumb, but like mathematically, if you were to get 1% better, you would overall become 38%, 38 times better. That's pretty far. 38 times. Not not 38%, 38 times. You could replace you in a year's time with 38 you right now. That's pretty impressive, right? Yeah. Now, obviously, now, yeah, your bar be, would increase. And yeah, that because you go, I say. expect better. I'm not going to feel as satisfied in a year's time. Gonna get but sick if you were to reflect and go, oh, yeah, that guy was a fucking loser. Like, good. Yeah. Let's just say you achieved half of that. Yeah. That's still pretty damn good. So the point pretty, is. Pretty damn good is the, a the, understatement. Yeah. The point is, the, the whole point here is that this is what I'm trying to really apply to myself is that I just want to get a little bit better every day. And that's all, I, that's all you can ask, right? But literally try to make things and functional things that you can do to be a little bit better every day. I started, the first thing I started to do was make my bed because it feels like I get a bit of an achievement. And I've been battling with getting up out of bed. That's been a thing we spoke about on the podcast for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Trying that now. Um, I'm also trying to read every day now. And that book is motivating every single day for me to do something 
it's basically. A good book to start on, I can imagine. Yeah, it's a really good book to start on. So, you know, I'm editing podcasts. I've got clips that I, it's really, really a hard slog to go back and listen to myself, you know, you know, three months ago. But I'm going through them all and editing the podcast to get clips to upload to the channel. It's a fucking shit fight. But the point is, if I do that every day or just become a little bit better every single day, those payoffs are going to pay off. Whether it be in six months time or twelve months time, I'm hoping the payoff for thirty eight times better, like greater than what the investment is now. Mm-hmm. Um, in terms of a like a utilizing standpoint, mm-hmm. which no brainer, right? Like I I'm a I put money into this investment to put money you know for retirement now because I know the benefit. Why not put that same energy and effort into your actual self and not just habits, your financial um, and atomic habits to you know get better for me to, for next year. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, it's all you can ask, right? Yeah. Yeah. And strive to do. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Um, so what are the big ones you're thinking you want to clock on? So you're saying wake up more consistently. <coughs> yep. Uh, you want to read more. Yep. What else you got? Um, and I- if you say, I'm good with that now, I just want to do that consistently for a month, fair the fuck enough. That, well, that's the idea is that the whole point I think is... don't, and I know I've said this to you already, but I'm saying this a bit for the for the viewers out there. You know, I, I always stress, you know, baby steps. Yes. And because a lot of us can go, and I'm guilty of this as well to some extent, um, it's like, dude, I know this, this, and this isn't that hard. I'm like, I can do that. But that's a goal, and though. And it's just like, and then you try to do it and you do it for two days and then you fuck up. And then you kind of go, oh, I'll get back to it next week. And then you fucked up for another yeah. five days. Yep. And then you try it again. You get four days in and then you fuck up. You know, it's just easier and you'll be more successful if you just go, this one thing, I do this for a fortnight. Add in a second thing, do that for a fortnight. Add in a yeah. three. And then you, once you get to three, you're like, oh, you know Don't what? Even- I'm good. I can add two more things and really smack that out. I wouldn't even You know do- what I mean? So Yeah, I do. But I wouldn't even um- – do like set goals for like that. Like literally it's like, I, w- I want to become a reader, not, not, I want to read 10 pages tomorrow. It's like that. You just, you just, you know, what's the purpose, right? You're like, like, if I go on a train, I'd like to read a book. Yeah. I guess it's still, it's still a goal, but it's like, if you go, no, oh, I mean, you know, you, it's, you, you're doing something. It's like, I'm actually doing like, I'm, it's not a goal on I want to have the goal or outcome of reading 10 pages. It's just like, I want to become a reader. I want to, you know, be knowledgeable. Because that that changes who you are, and that like is a deep in, in found thing. Whereas you go, oh, I want to read ten pages tomorrow. It's like an external force, so you're gonna be forced to do it, right? You're forcing yourself to do it, and then after three days, you're gonna go, what the fuck am I doing? So these, and I think going back to what you say, do not seriously, do not underestimate. Oh, yuck! What was it? The orange juice. <laughs> um, don't underestimate insignificant changes in in the better, right? Like literally making your bed. It's not hard. You do it when you get out of bed. You might be naked. I make my bed naked every day. I've got a queen size bed, so I have to like jump the like. Yeah, you slap the, yourself with your dick. It's good no, fun. you jump the quilt across the bed, like mm-hmm. to like stretch it out, and make it all nice. Like so, like make your bed every day. It's the easiest thing you can fucking do, and it just starts you off with saying, "Okay, I'm I'm a doer today. I'm starting stuff." I've started something and I've successfully done it. And you can say, and it's not the goal of making your bed. It's like. My, I'm a person, I'm a person with a clean room. I'm not a messy person, right? I'm a tidy person. It's not a goal. This is who you are. So, you know, it's, and you go, oh, if I was to walk in my parents' room and I made bed, is, would I think anything of it? But I think shit cunts. Yes. You know? Dirty <laughs> slobs. But you know what I mean? It's just the easiest thing you can do. And I think going back, don't underestimate small things. Don't try to go, oh, I'll go to the gym five days a week. Again, that's a goal. Not, I'm going to become a gym goer. I'm going to be a sick cunt, shredded cunt. Like, if you say, I want to go to the gym four, four days a week, it's like, okay, what are you eating? Like, what are your actual outputs of that? Are you just going to go to the gym because you think it's healthy? Or do you want to become, you know, stronger? Because if you want to be stronger, going to the gym four days a week is a thing, a part of getting stronger, but it's not the be or end all. You know what I mean? Like, diet's a huge place. Sleep's a big one. Testosterone levels is huge. So it's like... If you want to go four days a week, sure, but what are you actually doing to achieve that? Yeah. And I think that's what separates su- achievers, the people who succeed and achieve in life and everyone else, mm-hmm. is they don't like go, oh, I want to have a million dollars in my bank account. It's like, it's a cool goal, 
but first of all, figure out why and then figure out who that person would be that would have a million dollars in their account, you know? Strange goal. What? A million dollars in an account. I'd be like... Yeah, it's a I shit goal. Think, I'm like, I could think of a lot of things. Exactly. And it's, yeah. you need to have a think about it. But the, yeah, I keep talking about, you know... Not like a bad tra- goal. I mean, I, I yeah. wouldn't complain if that happened no, right it's, now. it's nice to have, of course, but... It, <laughs> I say oh, like that. I had it last week. Like, yeah, it's like when I was saying like a YouTuber, right. Eric was like a small, small creator with like two million subs <laughs> at the time. Yeah. Um, when do you no. hear people like, oh yeah, come like and subscribe, subscribe to my small YouTube channel, and they're like sixty thousand likes, dude. Sixty thousand, I understand compared to PewDiePie, mm. but it's like sixty thousand people in person. If you just said hello, how are you doing to sixty thousand people, you'd probably be there for like thirty hours. If you said that to like. Every per like that was the only thing said. You shook the said, "Hey, how you doing? Good." Next per ah oh, fuck, dude, you'd be there for fucking hours. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sixty thousand people is a lot of fucking people. Anyway, yeah, yeah, that's thirty thousand uh, minutes. If you were to give them thirty seconds each, that's a lot of minutes. It's a lot of minutes. It's like fifty hours. Yeah, thirty seconds is generous though. Have I fucked it up? I, don't, I can't be like looking it up. You get the point. Um. That's no, 500 hours. 500 days. Ah, fuck it. Don't worry about it. Let fuck me, that. Let me think about it more. Um, Are you still thinking about it? No, yeah, you fucked me up. It's like my, I'm trying to dump it out of my head and it just keeps like, a, like, it's like a spider coming out of the out of like the well or the fucking it's the like, drain. Like, yeah. Minute. Hang on a minute. Let me finish this math. No, no, I'm not. I'm done with that. Um, <laughs> but I keep talking about, you know, I just really want to hammer home. If that's all I can do is small changes mm-hmm. are very valuable. Don't uh, don't sleep on them, right? They're so valuable because they're actually achievable. They're the things you do every day, right? Whereas you go, oh, I want to do something big. You're going to burn out and not do it. And I, I can ask yourself right now, how many times have I said, I'm going to go do something? I do it for a week and I stop because that means you failed that task. It means you failed that habit, right? If just you call it a habit. say say why you did that why did you fail how did you fail how did you set yourself up for failure did you do the foundational work to get you there did you you know do the right steps did you do the easy things first i mean i'm and i'm you know for example tim and, and myself i really like literally saying out loud and this is what we kind of help with us being here i know that logan paul and a few other people they do um that they i know they meditate and do meditation sessions but they also do something where they like sit around on like a Saturday or whatever and just go through like, like basically quotes or things and like thought processes. I don't know what they're called, but it's like success, successful thought processes is like, okay, to be a successful person, a successful person does this, a successful person does that. A local pool that I want to be tomorrow does this, this and this, and this is what he believes. This is like his character. Um, and he says them out loud and he puts them out there and there's other people in his like family, I guess, even though they're not technically family, but his family around him, they live and breathe in that house. They live and breathe that same ideology um, because that manifests that, I guess, that presence in that space. Um, and what we're doing, I guess, it was. Well, it sounds kind of weird, but I, I want to you know, believe in it, is what we're doing that now is in something small is that we are doing like the two-minute rule. And the two-minute rule is if something takes less than two minutes and you've thought about, oh, should I do it? Yes or no? Does it take less than two minutes? Yes or no? If the answer is yes, yes, if it's less than two minutes, there's no question. Just go and do it straight away. And we say it out loud. Like literally I heard you the other day like, oh, should... okay, less than two minutes. And then you went and go and did it. So it's like really powerful because like you literally like are squanching your, 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 um, your super conscious, your consciousness is squanching your id and saying, no, like, you know, whatever monkey brain doesn't want to do this right now, who cares because it's less than two minutes. There's no effort and energy and I have a reward because it's like, ah, oh, I feel better about myself doing that. Yeah. One less thing to do. Especially yeah, exactly. If you're like, especially if you used to go, oh, I'll just do that in a bit. Yeah. Kind of add it to the mental or literal physical list like me. You're like, ah, yeah. Do it in a minute. Yep. A minute turns into an hour, an hour turns into five hours, turns into I'll just do it tomorrow morning and then you're like, fuck, yep. I've got to wash these dishes and this is piled up to yep. and that, seven fucking plates and four pots. And you probably go look, you probably go on that in the book, but that's a, another thing I guess is that one percent benefit, right? 
1% of effort, which you, I don't know how much effort you could work out, but something that takes less than two minutes, it's probably not too hard. It's not time consuming. It takes less than two minutes and it's not like straining or difficult. So that effort's low, but there's a reward because it's complete now. And it's like a snowball effect. So maybe you want to do something else because you've started doing the two minute thing or vice, you know, so on and so forth. And, you know, you might be left with three hard tasks, but it's like that's easily managed and you won't stress you out, you know. Um, and it's scientifically proven that decluttering and fixing your, you know, your environment, if your environment improves, you yourself will improve. If your environment's messy, you yourself will have a messy brain. You can't, you know, scatterbrain all that stuff. So that's, you know, if you improve your environment through processes and habits you do yourself, you're surely going to improve your mental health and your behavior, you know, psychological behavior. Mm. Though I have heard that people with messy desks and workspaces are intelligent, tend to be more intelligent, but they're also like autistic. Yeah. So more. that's a messy brain. Yeah. Like auti- people with autism has messy, have messy brains. Yeah. Which is great because it allows them to be abstract thinkers. Be great spastics. Which yeah. Is good. Can speak from experience. Thanks, <coughs> Einstein. Thanks. There's Liz- a good photo of his like desk. There's just fucking shit everywhere. You my know, desk. Like, cheers, my guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. You could probably say about me a bit. Like, I'm like organized clutter a bit. Yeah. I mean, we've all got our own different definitions of clean. Um, What's mine, Tim? What do you call mine? Mine's fucking clean. <clears throat> but is it like, it's, it, it's like clean and tidy, but it seems clutter. Like, a lot of the stuff, like, I, I, I can't, I, I don't, I don't believe in minimalists, min- minimalists. Like, how do you, how can you own, like, only own? What one you, box in your house. What do you mean you don't believe the minimalists? I don't believe in them. They don't exist. <laughs> okay. They don't live there, dude. Thanks for clarifying. They don't live there. They're not real. They don't live there, dude. Yeah. You tell me that you only own one box, and that box it must be a big box. <laughs> is just to put that box is called their van. That box is only there because they left it on the counter because they just got a new box of sponges and yeah. it's gonna go in the bin. Yeah. Like I'm looking at like seven boxes right in front of me right now. I mean, we want to count yeah, a lot of boxes, yeah. right? But it's organized and neat over there. But like, you know, you, I wouldn't like to use that as a set background because it's a bit messy, sure. you know? Meanwhile, got like cups and shit. Well, yeah. Some of the stuff you can't see, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, no. So the adventure begins. Mm. Um, good times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think my, uh, um, my goals are a little bit, uh, similar to yours. Yeah, let's say mine. mine are lower than yours and higher than yours. Mm-hmm. Um, cause you're like 1% better every day. I'm like, cool. Thumbs up. I'm like 1% better every week. That's me. I'm like a week. I'm more than happy for that. I'm like, for me, that's more consistent. I can hit that every day. I'm just too, um, I'm not really an all or nothing kind of guy, but in this regard, if I go, I didn't do 1% today, not that I'd think about it every day, did I get 1% better yesterday? I wouldn't think about it like that. But if I had a couple of days where I'm like, ah, oh, what the fuck? I'd want to look at a bit bigger picture, at least for the first bit. Hang on, can I change that? Sure. It's not to be, can I be 1% better? It's like, how can I help me tomorrow? What, like, how am I going to help myself tomorrow? Like, yeah, just, just think about it that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> but I'm just saying if I had a couple of bad days, you know, I'd want to be like over the week, you know, I at least, you know, accomplished a couple of things. Now, obviously, you can have a bad week. Um, but that if I had a bad week, then it's but, not an off day. Yeah. And then I can't. Now, is that head. a bad week? You knew you did the wrong thing and you can continue to do it. Bad week or the week just happened to be bad and punishing to you because it's a big difference. Cause if you had a Neither. shit, I, I mean more like, you know, shit happened to you. Like yeah. your dog died yeah, as I'm or saying. a car crash happened and you know, <clears throat> shit happened and you're like, you know, I half continued reading and some half the days. I oh, continued well, reading if you're strict, I'm... sticking to your strict goals. Yeah. yeah. I, I thought like, you know, if you were to go, Oh, I'm not going to read today, but you know, I'm trying I'm going to, you know, maybe I'm going to meditate or, Something like that to make myself, you know, yeah, I don't mind figure swapping. out, figure, I don't, yeah. yeah, I don't mean swapping it out. 
like if you swap out one thing for another, then that's fine. If you know, you if you but if you know your dog died, and you're like fuck it, I'm just gonna go eat like nine boxes of KFC. Yeah, that's the, that's a loss. You know, that's an L. Yeah, that's an L. And I'm just saying, if you did, you, if you chose thought, to do that, you chose to take that. That's right. That I'm L. just saying, if you did that daily, you know, that's bad. But if you did that for one day, I'd be like, fair enough. Oh, I'm like right, if your yeah. if your your missus died or your child got hit by a car and you just went fuck this. You know, she died two days ago. You and your missus had a big fucking cry last night. Sad days, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, right, I'm just going to get drunk and get fucking pissed. Who am I to be like, you're not improving, my guy. What are you doing? I'm yeah. going to be like, yeah, you know what? That's fine. No, I get that. Fair enough. Because yeah, yeah. you your know, goal was you don't want to drink alcohol. I'm thinking like, oh, I want to lose weight. I want to get muscly. And you're like, yeah. And but then even you had, then, if you had, had day, KFC. Yeah. You had a meal of KFC. Day, like, you can still, you don't even mess that up. Like, even if you had KFC, unless you had like, yeah. Four packets of pods, four Mars bars, and a fucking and the KFC. You'd yeah. be like you'd be in trouble. You know town. what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the no fap guys. Okay, because there's a few of them, especially the younger guys that think. To about be clear, like okay, let me just be very important, guys. I don't know fucking know about no fap. Tim talks about it all the time. Um, so let's go on the right of what the fuck no fap is. But please make your point first. Okay, and quickly explain I'll explain. No fap just basically means. Uh, guys specifically, but girls as well. But Not, more no, guys. They're included. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out. Um, it just means uh, at least lessening your the amount of times you masturbate um, or stopping it outright. Now, you know, it's a bit more complicated, but that's the gist. Um, some guys Semen talk about... Semen retention is what it's called, my friends. Well, no, it's not. They're different things. Semen retention, you know... But one's a subcategory of the other, right? Yes. One has the output or outcome of semen retention. Yeah, but you can be on no fap and not be in semen retention. Of course. Right. So they're not the same thing. Yeah, but you can still... be doing no fap and be doing semen retention, but you can also be doing no fap. Yeah, and I get not that. Doing it's like a subcategory, retention. but it has yeah. like. But like, for example, look. Now that we're already in the weeds, fuck it. You can be. <laughs> you can do no fap and just and you know I would accept you're kind of on the journey to try and get better by still masturbating but not watching porn because a lot of the guys that are on no fap have massive problems with porn and that's why the vast majority of guys get onto it so i think if you can transition from watching porn three times a day wanking three times a day to just wanking without porn three times a day the damage is going to be way less severe what's the damage for those and myself at home. Completely ruins you psychologically, fucks up your dopamine receptors. Think you, you start thinking. And particularly, let me add, particularly if you're autistic or got ADHD or ADD, because your dopamine receptors are fucking retarded anyway, and you become you can become obsessive. Yeah. So that would make sense why a lot of guys yeah. would become obsessive, and because yeah. their dopamine is weird. Yeah. They yeah. like dopamine is a good yeah. thing to autismos. Yeah, that's right. And yeah, which is why you know there's, they're obsessive there's a trains. Lot more, there's a lot more. Th- negatives about it you know especially the younger you get started the the more potential you have to warp your view of sex women um i'm speaking if you're a young guy obviously but you know you're gonna you know <clears throat> i'm sure most of you are putting it together not great but yeah I and think, jesus is watching yeah yeah he's watching don't quit it that's kind of gay yeah. the man's watching you wank yeah and you're about it so <laughs> sus um but yeah then you've got you know you got some guys who are like um the whole reason why i was starting this is because people tally their days they go like i'm on day 73 of nofap and then they think about it like oh um I forget, I'm the, I've just blanked on the word, but uh, it's like... Like alcohol anonymous? Relapsed. They've yeah. relapsed. Um, that's yeah, a, that's right. How, like people take it really seriously and they go, oh my God, but that's... I've relapsed. And I just look at it like, my guy, you made it to 73 days. So one out of 74 of them... It's not okay, crack. You've relapsed on 74. You failed. So you're one for 73. So you've done pretty good there. Yeah. So well, 73 of, for one. But the problem is a lot of the guys think about it like a timetable so they go like from day zero to day four you get more energy from day four to day blah 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 you get better sleep on day 25 you start getting females noticing you more and blah you know some of the stuff's a lot yeah look i'm not going to go into all of it but some of it's a bit exaggerated and it's just some guys feeling more confident so that they think, you know, they're walking around with a bit more machismo and a bit more energy and they're feeling themselves a bit more and they're like, cool, 
you know, after 10 days of doing this, I started going to the gym, you know, two weeks in, I started feeling a bit better at myself, you know, oh, look at that. I'm going to, you know, it's a lot of correlation equals, you know, that's causation. Don't stuff. do no fap and go to the gym at the same time. It Why? Does, because your libido spikes. So, you, so? What's wrong with that? No, it's, no, I'm saying like, if okay, you're not okay. an idiot and you if know you're starting, control. no, sorry, but if you're starting no fap and you just came back from a gym spell, Right, yeah. and you started going to the gym, oh, and right. you're trying to do your own fab. It's not a good concoction <laughs> within the same week, right? Because your libido is going to be all time high. <laughs> sure. And you got no way to facilitate it. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, fair enough. Like I, I've for for myself, anecdotally, I haven't done the combination. It's I've good done, time. I've done no fab. No, I said done no fab. I haven't. When I say done no fab, what's your biggest streak, my guy? I wouldn't even a week. No. Nah. <laughs> Um, I think no, no November is great, especially like for that reason because you know people do yeah c- are committed to it. Yep, you know which is like a lot of people meme about it, and I don't think that many people take it seriously. But I think it's good because even if five percent of the people that joke about it are like, you know what, I'm actually going to you still drag them on because they go, oh, sorry boys, I lost it. Like, yeah, dude, it just and it's good because you at least like five. But everyone's like, whoever's left, you know. Yeah, um, it is good. But names. you know when I start when you go back to the gym, you know you feel like you're really energetic and you get you know you get the pump. On your dong, sure. <laughs> you know, and you're like, that's so interesting. Man, man, test like, Arr! yeah, yeah. Um, I, I never, I so I that. couldn't even dare. So I wanted, like, you know, I think I either do one or the other and commit to one or the other before you go, you know, down both routes because I would love to start doing that. Okay. Um, no fap, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Now, I don't know whether it's beneficial or not. I mean, I know a lot of people like, go, go back There's to Logan a lot Paul. Of pseudo Logan Paul, for example, wanks twice a day. Sure. And he says it works for him and makes him like clear minded and whatever. Now that's that could true. Be, that could be, for example, and on Wolf of Wall Street, same thing has said. He's like he jacks off like three times a day or something like that. Sure. Um, I'm not saying that's in in uh, what's the word? Um, not 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 in contrary to you, but it's more like I've heard these these anecdotes. Yeah, and it's but like, maybe because they're obsessed, right? And and also I think. I can like attest to that kind of, you know, sentiment by like, has anyone ever had sex with a woman and then just gone, you know, or had a wank um, and just been like, God, what the fuck am I doing? Yes. Like you've just been like, and especially, oh dude, this is, I'm not going to mention the guy's name. Um, But you know, some people are like, oh my God, what have I just wanked over? They're like, that was suspiciously, you know, underage. What? Looking and it's just like yikers, my guy. They've just been like, "Oh, we've all done it." Am I right? No, no, we haven't. What? I'll tell you off air. I'm not going to say it on there, but it's just like jeepers. No, we, you don't know them. You don't know them. No, no I just think it's weird. Like, how do you even find? And they they tried rationalizing it by being like, "Oh, we've all done it." Am I right, boys? It's like no, no, we haven't. No. Oh no. wait, they were going to like other sites. That is not like just no. Meaning they were like talking to like other people, and they were going like, "Oh, we've all done this thing, right?" No, I'm saying like, but they when they especially underage, you're saying you're not going to get that on porn, up, will you? you no, 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 to go it, some it, fucking weird. It place. wasn't wasn't humans. Again, wouldn't you wouldn't get that from Pornhub? No, it was just like uh, uh, lolly. They call it. It's like animated shit where it's like you know when you have like. Um, you know, I don't. I can't think of a show. There's probably like Dragon Ball Z. There's someone that's like a thousand years old or whatever, but they only look fifteen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do you see the Eternals? Yeah. Right. That chick, she's fucking twelve oh. or whatever. Oh. She looks twelve, but she's actually like nine thousand years old. So no. something like that, where they're like, well, her biological age is so and so, but they look this technically age. go kill yourself. Sorry. Do you see what I'm saying? So Dude, there's people out there that you, are like so that. So you're saying that no fat has an issue, has a play to with that. Do you think? No, well, no, no, no. I'm, I'm talking about the point I was making there is, you talk about Logan Paul and the Wolf of Wall Street wanking, and it works for them. And I'm saying we've all had those moments of post nut clarity where we're like, oh shit, what am I doing? So if you're about to make a big decision, I'm not one to be like, you're a no fap, my guy. You can't wank. If yeah. you're about to buy a house and it's in a shit neighborhood, it's overpriced, you know, someone's pressuring you to do it, blah, blah, blah. Maybe fucking can we, like can have we a change wank. the analogy? Can we make an analogy here? It's like money in the bank, right? Like feel feel like your 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 cummies, your cum energy is like money in the bank, right? Your money in the bank is good for you and is allowed you to use it whenever you can. Right? Okay. 
if you want to splash cash on a new couch or splash cash on a new car or a new house, <laughs> you can. But if you, you know, if you have a coffee every day, you buy cigarettes every, like a pack of cigarettes every day, or you go, you know, the strip club every day, or you, you know, have takeout every day, you're not getting those big drops of serotonin or dopamine and big payoffs for holding, holding, holding your cash in your bank. And I think that's for me, it works. That analogy works for me because I've never thought about it that way. But it's like, if you think about it, like the payoffs are there. Even if just the idea of having, you know, 10 grand in your bank account to like, like you have more than 10 grand, but just to think that you have 10 grand to spend on whatever you want and it doesn't even matter. I think that's pretty valuable. Now, obviously it's not going to stack up like that. It's not going to stack up infinitely. You're going to hit a threshold. But the analogy there is that, you know, if you do do the NoFap and you don't spend it on dumb shit, um, you're going to get those perks and benefits. You're going to get that, you know, diamond credit card. <laughs> that you can use, but you're going to get, you know, the clarity. You're going to get um, your testosterone levels come back. You're going to improve your, you know, like you said, your, your serotonin. Mm -hmm. um, no, sorry, your dopamine system. Yeah. There's some other things. So that, that analogy for me works. I don't know if you can add to that because you're more in that space. But yeah. to me, that makes sense. Like, no, that makes sense. If it's that like, makes sense, it's that's like good. money in the bank, right? Yeah, that's good. That makes If it makes sense, that's, that's fine. Um, it's not one sperm to one dollar, but, you know. <laughs> I think, yeah. You know what I mean? It's, you can, people can get catch the and and the when, if you need to spend it because you're gonna spend it on something important, yep. e.g., really hot chick, or you know something less shallow. Maybe you're you know just frustrated. You don't know how the world is. You need that extra brain dump and also body dump. Yeah. Do it. Yeah, you know? it'll feel great. You know, but yeah, that, that's my point. Is I'm like. If you've got a big decision and you know you're the type of guy that thinks better when they've busted a nut, you know, like the reason I was saying, like, if you've watched, like, some fucked up porn or even if it's just, like, not even that fucked up compared to other people. But for you, you're just like, dude, I'm good. Like, I'm never delving down here again. Or, like, you've done something dumb where you're, like, you just wanked in, like, a public bathroom because you just got really horny and, you know, someone walked in and, you know, embarrassing time. Something dumb where you just went fucking yikers. Do people Dude. often wank in public toilets and at work? I mean, I don't know about often. No, I've heard it enough now to think that people wank at work and I don't want to hear, I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to know either. But it's like, why? Yeah, I don't know. Some people just get really fucking horny. You know what I mean? But like, for example, I... Or is it like a... Like a systemic thing where it's like they, their Have bodies to used to, six you know. o'clock or something. And they're yeah. like, well, I stayed back for an extra, yeah, maybe. I'm sure all of those are different factors. And but ritualistic. like, for example, with me, um, the only time I nut, like I have a wank, is if I get blue balls. Because long story short, I had a surgery when I was a fucking kid. I don't know how it is to be other guys and have blue balls. But when I get blue balls, meaning like either I've spent time with my missus and I was keen, she wasn't, or whatever, you know, I got keen after, I got keen before, and, you know, whatever, fucking had to go somewhere, do something, whatever, for whatever reason, nothing happened. Or, you know, I happened to see something on TV and fucking get horny or whatever. Um, I'm like, I'm going to wank because it's extremely painful for me. Like sitting down is like real fucking painful. So I can't speak for other guys. I don't know how they um, are. Gooch gets a bit sore. Yeah, yeah, but I, I know... Like a lot of guys are probably out there like I've heard people just, just like just sleep it off or just do some push-ups and distract yourself. It'll be fine in the morning. I've tried that for two days in a row and it got worse. And I'm like, right, I'm nutting. And then usually like a yeah. few hours after that, it's better. But I feel for like me, that's the only reason. So that means for me, I have to be like disciplined and just not look at like random shit. You know, like a lot of guys out there will be like Instagram shit where they know they'll get horny fuck off rat cunt i literally saw you <laughs> saw you on the click you click on youtube videos i'm calling you out here you click yeah. on youtube videos just for the boobs yeah i saw you i'm like he's yes, like but I oh look at those tartars yes yes <laughs> but i know what will get me horny and what won't uh, there's an appreciation he it's definitely um what'd you say it was lolly lolly is that yeah like the under eight like is that strictly they, like old Elves, gnomes, or is it just cartoon characters? I'm going to be put on Don't. The... You don't go on the list. Don't go on the list, Tim. I'm already on um, so many. Um, no, yeah, it's... I think so. I think it's, it's I don't know, it's like a child appearing. 
So it could be a child. It could not be a child. I don't know. Stop. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Anyway. So, However, that's weird to think about. And I think now, like, I don't know, like, this is me. I've thought about it a few times post, post not clarity is that, like, if they're like, I don't know. I don't want to be a 35 year old man jacking off to a 20, like, porn of a 21 year old girl. I think that's weird. Okay. I do, or even if I was if I was fifty year old man, you know. I'll send you a video. Um it's like a six Grannies minute, only when I'm there. It's a six minute yeah, that's right. Uh there was like a six minute video. I think it was like I'm forty six or I'm forty two years old. Um I've been going at it since I was like seventeen and it's just like it's ruined my life. Hmm. Um I think it's really useful for a lot of guys. I know we're we're on you know, this fucking no fat kind of thing for a while, guys, but, you know, bear with me. Um, well, yeah, this guy was just, you know, long story short, uh, you know, had a job, wife, kids, and he was just, like, obsessed with porn, you know, wasn't having sex with his wife, had a, you know, degrading, you know, deteriorating, I should say more, uh, relationship with his kids. Anyway, long story short, divorced got divorce raped in the courts, didn't have access to his kids. Um, she got the house and he was, you know, living in a shitty apartment and fucking hating his life. And he's just like, holy fuck. He's just like, this was the thing that done me in. And he's like, I chose to do this. And this was a fuck up. So he wrote, he did a video um, basically saying to all the guys out there who are having problems with it, you know, sort it out the earlier the better because I thought back when I was 18, I thought back when I was 22, you know, I should sort this out, but I can do it next week kind of yeah, thing. I so, think and I've, I've seen so many stories of that, even like not as extreme as that. I think it's good to have those really extreme ones because you're like, this is how bad it can get. Mm. But I've seen ones where it's just like, mm. you know, and I can attest to this as well, where it's just like, I'm not that bad, but you know, I've had guys where it's just like, I've seen stories rather where um, they're just like, I'm, you know, 22, been with my missus for a year and a half kind of thing. Um, you know, I've got ED, erectile dysfunction. They're like, I, I'm i like struggling to get it up now. I think you're saying ED, like, yeah. Uh, can I test that? Yeah. I've And I've had that a couple recently. of times with um, Taylor. Like this was my missus about like two years ago, I wasn't watching that much porn, but I was wanking a bit too often. Mm. And um, I was I was actually, funnily enough, kind of doing that because, um, you know, I was anticipating sex too much in the relationship. So I was like, all right, I'll kind of get this out of my system before I go. And then when it would be time, I'd have to like, you know, kind of focus a lot more. It wasn't like yeah. pants came off and I've got a flaccid dick. I'd have to just like be like, oh, let's just slow down so I can like get myself yeah. ready. So I, I think... can attest to that on a very small scale like that. And I was like, dude, this is bad. I, I recognize there was like two occasions where I was like, dude, I've got to just like, you know, make the foreplay last like a couple minutes longer than it usually would. And it's just like, dude, I'm like conscious of me delaying us getting into the real business. And I was like, dude, this is bad. Anyway, so that's what that would like. That's just a little tiny example. Yeah. Like some guys out there are just like, I don't know what to do. They're like, I can't get it up. And they're not drunk. They're not anything. They've been with the same girl for so long. They're not, they still like, you know. Um, yeah. So you, you there's say. two things. I think it's kind of like in any drug or addiction, um, even if it's a micro addiction, like you're a functioning wankaholic. Um, I think you don't get that high that you like used to get. Um, with a... can, can you remember the first time you wanked? Yeah. I can, dude. And I was seizing in my bed. I was legit. Ugh. I don't even. Rem I don't remember, but I just remember like dude, the first I remember early the days, day. man, early days, great times. Great dude, times. eleven years old. Ugh. Ugh, going on a rocket ship, my guy. I told you about this before, but I, I, I think I'm on the show. 2009, mate. At my grandma's house. I had a wet dream. <laughs> oh, yeah, you have told me this. Yeah, yeah. A wet dream. Wake up. Got a, got a <laughs> Nintendo DS and a drizzly dick. Wouldn't stop. And just oozing out. Oh, man. It was a not a great time. And I don't think at the time I was wearing, I wore underwear, so I was straight on to the bloody pajama pants. <laughs> <laughs> not even naked. Damn. 
Yeah, no, it's not great. No good. Uh, so I started wearing underwear. Yeah. 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 That was, he was commando up till he was nine. Yeah. And then he started wearing undies because of it. Yeah. So to attest to your saying, yeah. what you were saying, for me, and this is why I want to do it, and I need the uh, the check-in now. Um, I was going to talk about this later, like off air, but now we're on it. Fuck it. Um, and I'm happy to admit this because I would love to, you know, get over this, but there's been two things that I've kind of like hit me and thought about whether it's pre or post not. And I'm like, shit, I need to stop. Um, and I'm not, I'm not obsessed. I would do it like once a day, which I don't know if it's normal or not, but I think it's important to say how often. Um, so I, at this point, I think it's just ritualistic at the moment. Cause it's like, Oh, well, I haven't done it today. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but the issue, there's two things I've found and these are two things I'm like, okay, this is not even working. So there's in the last month, maybe cause I've hadn't had enough sleep or I'm stressed or whatever, but I haven't had it been a nut. Not the whole time, but like there's been like maybe well, you're five or six it for times. Minutes or whatever, and you're like nothing's coming. Well, you know, I I think most guys, I I, I don't know, I don't, I I'd send it pretty quick, right? Yeah. So I'm like, you know, you get it past the three minutes, your arms get sore, and you're like, <laughs> I'm done. Ferociously going. Hey. Ferociously going. Three minutes of just pure. No, I don't. I don't know. Hundred percent speed. No, I, I and don't. Like, God damn. I, I never counted it, but like you know, you know when you're gonna get there, and you don't, and you're like you feel like you're gonna get there, and you don't. You're like, you try one more. So like, you had that sensation of you're like, oh, I'm about to climax, and then you fucking got there, and you're like, oh, nothing's going on. Or did you not feel the oh, I'm coming to climax? I feel like I'm going to get there, and then I couldn't get there because I, I just thought about getting that going feeling. To get just there. kept you kept feeling like you were going to get there, but you never got there. It's or like, you're like, oh, it's you, like the little DVD symbol going to the corner and it doesn't hit it. Yeah. Okay. So and you got like, close oh, and then nothing. Oh, okay. You know, it's like, like a roller coaster. Yeah. So I'm like, and like you go past one, you do two, and you're like, oh, I'm done. And like, you know, <laughs> and so it ha- is... it's happened like four or five times in the past, you know, 60 to 80 days. Or something okay. like, that. like it's been, it's been quite frequent. Yeah. Like I think literally like last Tuesday, for example. Sure. So that's like last Tuesday. Um, I've been thinking, no, I can't do this anymore. Let's I get can't. shrink mode real quick. Did anything? Can you think of anything specific that happened? No, nah. nothing. No, I just think that it's probably just because it's not doing it for me, and I don't want to go start looking at fucking other dumb shit. You to, don't want to go down and the I'm, I, I don't train. care for it. It's just like it doesn't satisfy or meet actually what it's supposed to achieve is sex. Yeah. It's not making me have kids. It's not you know all that stuff. You know, like if you were talking about your primitive brain, chimp brain, right? It's this not, is sorry, sorry, just pause. You say go psychological. Yeah, yeah, no, I was just gonna say this is where I've got to realize because this is so natural. Because we just we were talking about this shit anyway. Yeah, I was about to go somewhere way too personal. Anyway, okay. I, I'm gonna write, write it down. down. Yeah, yeah, but I'm like camera, I think camera, on the zoom in yeah, yeah. eight times, eighty times yeah, notification. Yeah, 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 sure. No, so like I, it's not like I'm planning to have kids, but it's like it's not. It's like ranking is a bit like to me. I, it's obviously a taboo thing, right? Obviously, you know, people wouldn't want their bosses hearing about it. I personally, I don't care because, you know, it's up to them, the boss, bringing out that conversation. But it's like, it's a natural thing. Everyone does it. And if you don't do it, you're a liar. What's this? Sex and wanking, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, well, not everyone. Well, no, I'm saying, like, yeah. when I say everyone, I don't semantically mean everyone. Yeah. Most, but the majority yeah, yeah, of yeah, people yeah, yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. And it's, you're, you're a liar if you pretend you don't. And you are one of those people. So it's like, Perfect you know, way to put it. Exactly. Um, except for those that are part of no fat, of course. Um, but Yeah, but that'd be in that other category. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But so, you know, it's been a few times and I'm like, ah, oh, I don't want to, like, this is kind of futile and I just stop. I'm like, okay, it's a bit sad. I'll try again tomorrow. Um, but then, you know, obviously, because you blue ball yourself, you're like, well, <laughs> gonna no fun. fucking get this, you yeah. know? And so... I'm like this. I don't know if I don't think it's it's not rectal function because I get it up, I just can't finish, and so it's maybe it's a brain fog thing. Um, so I'm like, okay, whatever. So it's like that. That was the first reason. Like, oh, it's not. Like I'm not 17 anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're feeling kind of old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then okay. that that yeah. thought happened. Okay, okay, hold that. Yeah. How quick's yours? Uh, you go. That quick thought happened. I'm like, oh, I'm feeling kind of old. I'm like 16 anymore. And then I thought retrospectively, I'm like, 16 year old wanking's normal. Like you're looking at, you know, 22 year old girl, you know, girls and guys or whatever. Everything's all good. They're older than you. Guys. Er, no, like, I'm saying like they're not. They're not younger than you, right? Sus. Sus. Uh, 
the when you get tripped up and you see you know you watch a video and it's like two t- two guys with one girl or whatever and they start kissing you're like nope. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm that's, not that's, a big porn guy. I just go I I'm a like a Reddit dude and I just go on subreddits and it's just chicks. I I think that's awfully specific though. That's like. You're looking for it though, you know. I just yeah. go on the featured and keep going next until. No, nah, I I reckon. No, sorry, like I the prob- homepage. I probably haven't ever been uh, like watched porn more than thirty times. Hmm. I think because from like twelve to like fifteen, I watched porn like once. Uh, sorry, eleven to like fifteen, I watched porn like once, and I was just like, I was imagination dude all the way, and I was like, dude. Oh, I've it's watched, fun. I was I've watched porn. That shit's kind of gay. I'm like, yeah. why am I going to watch another dude fuck this other chick? That's kind of gay. You know, no, I didn't actually think that, but I was just like, this isn't this isn't better than what I'm doing. Yeah. And this when, is more effort. You're in, so I remember I it being like year seven or year six and guys saying like, it's gay if you watch a guy, like yeah, I guy remember, and girl. I, that, I remember that and so like, much. Not in only watch two girls because watching a guy is not a dick, it's gay. I'm like. It's kind of gay that you're saying that. Kind of gay right? you're saying that, yeah. <laughs> you know, like. Let me see that cock. <laughs> All right. Have you finished the thing? Because no, 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 I'm no, going to no, forget no. that fucking... No. Um, have you written it down? Yeah, I have. Um, You're talking about not being 17, 16. Yeah, so not being 17 anymore. And so, like, I'm 23. Yes. Yes, 23. Um, That's not on purpose. Like, literally, I don't know anymore. It's fucking sad. Confirmed. And for that reason, I'm out. Um, No, so... <laughs> And so I was like, now I'm going to be 24 this year. So I'm like, watching porn and the people are younger than me, it starts like me thinking about like, like when I was 17, it's like, oh, you know, whatever, it's all make believe, whatever. But now it's like, these people are younger than me. Mm. It's like, I find it weird and expect, you know, so I'm like, you know, I I can. So that's why I'm like really shuddering at it. And so I can't think. So it's the young thing for you, really? Yeah. Like, not just, but. No, but it's like, it's like I'm going to be like, well. Milfs only now, yeah, Tra- like grannies, milfs, yeah. granny, grannies only. Yeah. Um, because it's I just feel like that, you know, I, yeah, sorry, go ahead. it's just I'm conscious about it now, and then maybe that's affecting me. Okay, interesting. That's that's a good point. Um, yeah, that's. It. I just want to sidetrack for a sec because I find that funny because I think about that now with like hearing about athletes, like when I hear oh so and so player it. is that's what started it. is nineteen. That's what started it. And I'm like, oh I'm not oh I'm not nineteen anymore. I'm yeah. like, oh my god. That's what started it. I'm like I'm movie so- stars and rock stars are younger than you. Yeah, and when you think about like when you hear about like a professional martial artist, you're like, Oh, I'm too old if I dedicated myself and nothing but to a martial art. I still wouldn't be the best. Oh, who's that? Oh, he's Even a, if I had a shook? if I had a natural like knack for it. I'm still too old. Like I could not start now. You know what I mean? Uh, to be a professional for like to I be think you can. the well, you know, to be like the best. If I was like destined to be the best and I just didn't start, I'm like too old now. Sean O'Malley. He's a fucking sick cunt. I don't know how old he is though. Okay. Anyway, let me go back to the thing. Yeah. You, you were talking it. about you know, being like, you know, young young youngsters, this is kind of strange kind of thing. What age if this has stopped for you, and I assume it has because you're saying that, what age for you, and this is something for you guys at home as well, what age did you, if you consciously, and I didn't transparently, I didn't have an age where I consciously realized this, but did you go, oh, I'm not thinking about things as sexually anymore? Like, I'll give you an example. I'll give you some context, okay? I was saying- So, what they said at schools, right? You were looking at under girl skirts? Yeah. But I wasn't like getting my fucking camera and being like, Girls my should iPad wear. and going like, oi, quick. <laughs> I don't have an iPad, but it's a fucking a big book. I, I, I kid you not. Um, people did, did take this. photos with oh. their iPads. Oh, for sure. Like, or like the, because I had a front camera. <laughs> no, but it'd be sideways. It wouldn't be, like, even that's too nice. They'd be like, yeah. It's sideways yeah. with like the fucking. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. No. Anyway, so what are you um, saying? Uh, like I'll give, I think I explained this on the podcast a couple uh, uh, weeks ago, but I was with um, my uh, uh, Mrs. family, and one of them's fourteen or fifteen. Um, anyway, someone said something, and she just like made a sexual joke, and it wasn't like weird because I'm like you know not her family kind of thing, but it was just like you know whatever that's what she said or something like that, nothing like fucking crazy, and I was just like oh my god. 
oh, this was a few months ago this happened and I went, oh, I did not think about it that way. When I was like from, you know, it would have been like, yeah, especially like 13, but it would have been like 11, 12, but especially 13 to like, like 17, I was like, so when you're everything, a virgin, everything is a sexual context. So when you're a virgin. Yeah. And was aware of having se- of sex. Yeah, maybe yeah, maybe that I was I think that's probably the point for me as well. It was like but, everything was a like a, a chance to have sex, you know. Yeah, maybe like, that's like not a good literally, way to... but you know, like but you're like you maybe could there's a one percent chance you could finagle your wife. chance yeah. could uh you know finagle my wife you know, say yes to eating a pine cone and then, get my way in, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but do you remember have you had a moment like that where you're like It's been so long that I haven't like directly thought about yeah, because it would legit be like we were talking about this and there would have been like we would have said like my mind was like I'm sure yours is a bit similar and we were a bit similar in the same way is like someone I'm that spastic and I don't seem it now, but my mind would have been like yellow, yellow equals this, this equals that thing I saw on the weekend, that thing on the weekend reminds me of that thing I saw today, today reminds me of this person, this person reminds me of that person because I've got the same hand, this person reminds me of that, that person's looking like this and that person's looking really sexy right now. Like it would be like I'd connect like 10 dots and be like, damn, she's fucking hot. And I'd just go on a fucking trip. You know what I mean? And I'd just be like, anything to get me from A, I see, I'm thinking A, I'm like, oh, dude, I'm like this, I'm this age, I'm kind of horny. I see that chick. How can I connect whatever I'm at right now? I see a poster in the corner talking about anti-domestic violence and then that color of the post, you know what I mean? I think it's probably either virginity or lack of access to sex is probably when like that cutoff happens. So I guarantee if you were single and couldn't have sex, you, that'd probably come back. Maybe not in three months, not in six months. Not no. Maybe. But maybe might, in nine I, months. My intuition tells me that's not true. But now I, we've had the conversation and you're going to go, nah. And then you, so you're going to like. No, be, I think, I think, I think when I was 18, I wasn't thinking as much like that. Um, but I definitely noticed when I was like 22, I was like, right, I'm definitely not thinking like, yeah. it was crystal, like every thought was sexual. Every single thought I had in like high school, basically, was like, oh, this could be translated Tim, into a sexual context. Tim wished to sit next to me um, in, in psychology, man. That's, that's, what he, that's why, because uh, he thought I had Some thirsty cheeks. cheeks. Yeah, that's right, <laughs> my God. But do you know what I mean? Or maybe yeah, yeah. I'm really out there and I was just like. No, I, I, can't, I can't quite remember, right? Like my brain's like. Jupiter, it's a lot. Of, it's like a storm going on. So a lot, a lot of thoughts. Lot so of I gas. kind of, a, yeah, a lot of gas. So a lot of those thoughts would just get chucked in the, the dump bin. Yeah. Like so, I don't know. It was I don't I kind yeah. of like recollect, but not really, except for when you know you get blue balled and you're like you know, damn. you're like damn, like when this I was sucks. you know, <laughs> which happened to me so much. Yeah. When yeah. I was in high school. I, I mean, know. every guy knows the old story of randomly getting a boner and then you have to do the old, the old adjust, like, the oh, flip, flick this the up, flip, flip up, this to, up the to the belly button. Everyone yeah. knows it. Hide mm. up under the belt or under the, you know, top of your shorts kind of thing. And you're like, fuck, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. And we thought we were slick. You're not. It's really awkward to do it too. Because sometimes like your underwear, like, can like, you know, tangle itself up in there. You're like. Did you I, wear jocks or boxes? Jocks. Yeah. See, I didn't have that problem. You wear boxes. I wear like the the, the ones briefs. Like, like yeah, briefs. Sorry. Yeah, but you know, if they're a bit loose, you know, they've gone through a wash a couple of true, times. True, true, true. They have yeah, to tangle yeah. up, yeah, and you have yeah, to like. Yeah. Not only can you like, you kind of like, you know, I always. You can't yeah. just like flick it up. You have to like yeah. unwedge it. Yeah. You know. <laughs> and you'd all have to do this all the while looking casual and kind of just leaning forward and be like, "Oh, isn't that fucking funny?" <laughs> Just yeah, adjusting. Sometimes I just send it, but the, what's worse is when you like I did it <laughs> yesterday. I like rearranged my bowls or whatever, and then like just my dick was full out. So like that school, I, like, I feel like I could see like full knob, and I was like, "That's cool." Yeah, yeah. I, I <laughs> no, <laughs> like it wasn't like pants down. Just like if someone was like just there, they'd see that straight down, <laughs> you know. So I'm like, shit. <laughs> Happened too one too many times for me to know. <laughs> yeah, nah. Being a teenage boy, I 
I think I, I heard it put well. I can't remember exactly who put it well, but they were quite funny. And they went, being a teenage boy is like having a sexual movie, having a projector of a sexual movie playing all the time, and you can sometimes think about something else. Yeah. And I was like, bang on. I'm like, everything was sexual, and it was just like... Yeah, no, literally. So that's carnage. like going back. It's like literally like being autistic. Being autistic is like something else is going on in the background and then like literally in the corner, like picture in picture in the corner is like actually the task at hand. Yes. <laughs> but like when, you know, when you're horny main, or when you're, yeah. when you're like a, a, t- a teensy boy, you want to – like the sex is the big picture. And yeah. I, I do remember that. I remember yeah. like yeah. It was just wanting to have the focus. I think – don't know, man. I mean, it was the biggest goal. Yeah. What was the other yeah. biggest goal? Like, we Not weren't thinking about, school. oh, I want to be was... retired financially. I, you know, you'd kind of be like, oh, I'd like to have, like, be It wasn't a short term and... goal that you could, like, you know, work on. But it wasn't like, oh, you want to have sex with, like, you know, the girl with black hair. Nah, no thanks. Like, that, that's. You not... reckon you were that picky? Well, I knew that. I knew I do want to go there. Yeah, I knew there were some chicks who you're like, they're not hot, but it's like, you no, know, no, no, you know no. the definition of morality? No, I like, just knew there was red flags. Oh, yeah, but, for sure. But, but the thing is, put it like this. Look, if you were on. alone, you would have smashed and no one found out. It's like that definition of morality. The, the definition. Nah, because of this principle is against those black flags, dude. The red flags, you mean? Red flags? <laughs> not black flags. Where's the black flag come from? <laughs> I'm just like Assassin's Creed. No, no, it's black, black hair, drinking a bloody... Big fucking energy drink. No, thanks. Not about it. No. Okay. Like, you, you get cast in the, in the Kyle in the Kyle fucking bin. The Kyle? Do you know how everyone writes off Kyle's? Oh, right. You get put over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I can't Yeah, see um, yeah. nah, no thanks. Not about it. I feel like they might smell. Yeah, anyway, so why are we talking about... I'm not picky. How, the thing how is, did we get there from no To fact? be clear, What's weird is everyone has that projector, like you said, but I was not that, like, personally. You might, someone might be like, yo, dude, you got you got greasy hair. You couldn't pull anything. Have you seen my girlfriend? She's beautiful. <laughs> but um, I didn't, I didn't never pursue, like, I'm not like one of those weird cheesy fuckers who, like, pursues to have sex and builds up a body count. I just always thought, like, if it happens, it happens. Like, I'm, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, I just, whatever happened, happened. I wasn't going out there to... Get all the birds. Because it's not... I don't want to treat people like fucking numbers. I think some guys think about it like that, but I think the majority of guys were just like, I just want to get one another belt and be like, cool. I, I didn't die virgin. I've, Literally, that was a big thing for my head for fucking a long time. It's like, I don't want to die virgin. Yeah, I think I think every dude has thought that once. Like, I'm least. glad I won't die virgin now. That's right. That's you know, right. So I'll get there one day. Everything's clocked off. Yeah. Anyway. Um, Anal version. You haven't been bummed yet. Yeah, that's right. Let me clap them cheeks. That is true. <laughs> I looked you up and down and said at the same time as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So anyway, no fab, good time. Um, so you reckon you're going to try it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Starting tomorrow. You're going to start tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Why is that? What? What? <laughs> no, no. I was just going to ask, have you had a wank today? So that's the issue. I don't know. Everything just morphs into the same day. Did you have one like last night? Uh, well, I wasn't here last night, so I if that makes you feel better. Have not wanked since you've been here. Like Living when you've been here. Thursday. Yeah. So what do you mean do like you, when I'm in the house? Here strictly, we go. strictly when you haven't been in the house. Now that I think I don't know whether it's been whether I. I hope you don't go like. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to wank go. I'm going to wank in his room as well. <laughs> I'm going to be like oh dude. No, okay. I'm going to find so like a sock I have, somewhere. I have on this weekend but I don't know which one because it yeah, seems yeah. like the whole day's murfed together. Yeah, now yeah. that's not to say that I've only like oh I know there's been at least one so there's only one even though it's been you've been that, since Thursday. Will, that's I'm, a huge that's a shit straw man. Yeah no no that's fine. What are you going to say? I, I'm going to say that on a serious note is bad. What? That you can't even remember. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. More than one. No, you know I, I, mean? I know it's more than one, but I, I don't count the hand. Like, okay, on Friday I did it. On Saturday I did it. Okay, well here, here. I, I got it, you. you know? I got you. Think about it. I don't want to think about it. Okay. Let me let me not think about it. Okay. <laughs> so right. so tomorrow. So yeah. when was the last time you wanked? Do you ask me this? I, I was it Sunday. today or yesterday? Okay, right. Okay. 
Let's chalk it up to today. Okay, let's say today, guys. Right. Everyone's so today hit. is the, oh, well, it's technically the 8th now because we've passed midnight. Um, you're good. Mm. For the last 58 minutes, we've, it's 58. Part, you're, All right, you're, time to celebrate and have a wank. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's celebratory wank. But, yeah, no, I think the first few days is going to be hard. Um, I apologize to you guys. I want you know, Tim's going to ask it, but it's good. I want that. I want that. Like, I'm my goal is, although it's not something about goals, is I want to testosterone is a huge benefit, like a reason I want, like, I want to focus on. Uh, need to get my blood's done, and also I don't want to be addicted to porn. And you so, know, do you think you are now? I think so. I think that's. I think that's a brave assessment, and it's fair. Okay. So like, do you th- do you think? So let's get into Like, this. same as I'm addicted to coffee. Like, you know, if you can't... Okay. Yeah, okay, let's thing. get into this a little bit. Um, do you... I, so every time you wank, are you with porn? I'd say majority, yeah. Yeah. You're not like, oh, imagination time. No. You're like... like don't, And I'm not saying, like, you're with your missus and you finish by finishing yourself off kind of thing and you fucking come no, on no, that kind no. of thing. I'm saying, like, she's not in the picture. You're wanking. You're like yeah, porn. majority, and yeah. Like you'd say like yeah. 99 out of 100. Whether it's like, yeah, it's pornographic material. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not saying it in an awkward way. I'm no, just, I'm saying like, I'm just like trying to be like, like, are you like are you, 8 out are of you 10? Just, are you strictly changing like, you know, it's porn, just like, you know, like you said, like a Reddit thing? Or no, like, I don't give a shit. If you're what like lo- lo- looking at something, yeah, I don't care if it's a magazine, I don't care if it's a fucking picture, I don't care if it's a fucking video, I don't care if you're... Uh, uh, getting in the fucking Oculus. Looking. Dude, uh, that's a fucking vibe. That's a thing. I can imagine. Let me know. Give me a text and I'll be like, I'll leave you to it, my guy. But that'd be fucking fun. I, but what would you do with the hand, glo- the glove, uh, the controller things? I sound like such a boomer saying that. <laughs> I don't know. Never done it. I'm sure you could just you control everything with one hand. You could just put it on one control mode. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Anyway, no, yeah. I, I don't know. I think it's probably not worth it. Not worth the exploration. Yeah. I'll I'd have a- to go not wanking for a year to like count like my 365 pennies to exchange that for that one fucking time. Yeah, that's you know? fair. I'll, like I'll, I'll, I'll I, I would I would happily, you know, in a year's time from today, yep. if I never wanked and said, yep, I wanked in VR. You know what I mean? Like I, I'd, I'd proudly say-, say that. You know what I mean? Come on, like, look, at least I didn't wank. Any other day. So who's the weeb and now? And you have to go for some retarded shit to watch. You yeah. couldn't just be like, time to watch good old, you know, I don't know, you're into anal porn. You're like, oh, I just watched a good old anal vid. No. You're like, nah, I'm getting into some fucked. Like, I don't even want to know. Like, Why though? Because you'd be like, it's a year. Like, no, if I'm going to watch something, I don't want to watch. So- and I'm not saying you're going to go like. You're going to fucking blow on the fucking loading screen. So why do you, oh, right. you know what I mean? Like, why oh. does it have to be some fucking midget porn? I think, no, okay, that, that is a great thing. That that right there, what you just said, shows exactly. What? I mean, that is a proof that you haven't been a, you're not a no-fap astronaut. Why not? Because you just said after a year, you're going to be ready to explode. Not what happens after a while. Imagine like, just like fucking, I can't see. So shit. ladies and gentlemen, if you've got the video open, get the video open now. Reagan has retrieved the goods. Imagine if you're like, I don't know if I'm shot, but just fucking like. You're in it. Uh. Sending it. <laughs> send it. You look like I, this, the biggest I, I could not, fucking retard. How could you come? How could you fucking come with like, just this like, uh, uh, uh. Uh, not about it. Not about it. It's it's some. St- now you gotta get up. You fucking <laughs> spastic. Yeah. You gotta break that fucking chair. No, not about it. So what's this like astronaut? No come. I was too busy focusing on putting that on. So what? Uh. So you're saying that if you don't come in a year, you're gonna have to take ninety five strokes to f- to finish. Well, <laughs> I don't know if ninety five is a lot. It doesn't seem I like know. a lot. I just said like you're saying that like. For because me, the, well, I remember when I was 12, right? Yeah. First time had sex when I was 12, whatever, three strokes, I'm done. Yeah. So if I had not wanked in a year, I could imagine wanking for the first time in a year, you'd fucking blow like a chipmunk, like quickly. Yeah, but that's if you were, that, that would be if you're on one, specifically semen retention, and two, if you're on NoFap, which you'll be. Uh, if you don't wet dream, which won't happen. What? You 
wet dream on no phone? Yes. That's fucking shit. And this is this is that's not worth it. The, no. Okay. So I you. Don't want, that's fucking sad, dude. I don't want cummies in my pants. Why? Why would I want cu- crusty cum in when I wake up? That's, uh, uh, this is uh, cum in my uh, sheets, dude. Uh, I'd is, have to clean my bed every that, fucking three days if why? I want cum in my sheets. No thanks. That is perfect. Okay. Because there are some people that think if you have a wet dream, you failed. No fail. Okay, fucking idiots. Yes, okay. Okay, so... I just, it. I just strictly just... Think about it, right? Burnt my brain. Grandma's house. Wet dream. I think that's like the only wet... Oh, probably one of like two wet dreams I've ever had in my life. That's not I fucking remember. I've never had some others. Yeah. And then and then there's that. Memory locked in my brain. Like core, core memory unlocked. Christmas morning. <laughs> wet dream. Dribbling cock. As a 10-year-old. Can't play Nintendo DS. Got to wipe my willy every five minutes. <laughs> so can you see how I don't want a wet dream? And then yeah. the second time, this sounds like some bitch shit. You'll be fine. Okay. Secondly, yeah. I remember there's a book called How Hedley Hopkins stole robbed like- the, robbed the grave and stole like, stole a skull or something like that. Okay. Yeah. It's sure. it's called Hedley Hedley Hopkins. It's called what? Headley Hopkins. Okay, good. You anyway, he had a wet dream yeah. and some weird shit happened and, like, he had to, like, bury – his mum was going to catch him, so he had to, like, throw, like, his sock or whatever in fucking uh, tin and then chucked it on his bed and then, like, three months later he got it out and was as stiff as a cardboard or whatever. Haven't had that experience, but it's, like, to me, I'm, like, there's two experiences here. Wet, wet dreams don't seem like a great time. Okay. So please explain to me and be the contrarian and explain why okay. wet dream's good. All right. Well, let me give you the dumb. Because that to me doesn't seem like okay, good. Okay. This is, I was going to say the dumb tank. This isn't the dumb tank. Let me give you the kind of medicinal. Um, if you don't wank, and let's just say you don't see me for a while, you're going to come. It's just naturally going to happen. Your nuts are going to go, right, time to bust. It's just going to happen. Now, it's different for everyone. Um I've got the best. I can't remember the best streak. It was over like, it was close to two months kind of thing, and I had a wet dream. I think like six, five, six weeks in. So if you want to do the maths on that, that's what ten, nine a year. Not a big deal. You could not wash your sheets for five to six weeks if you really want to be a degenerate. All right. So what's good about wet dreams, though? Why is that good? Oh, well, I'm just, sorry. I'm just saying the medical reason first. And the second is like, it would be a reassurance on being like, all right, nothing's broken. My pipes are still going. Uh, I know I'm good to go. And this would be specifically for the semen retention guys because some of them would be like, I'm not. Well, there's small I'm, cock dudes too. There's my trump card, dude. Well, I mean, tell that to Mike Tyson. That dude didn't. That dude didn't. Wank or have sex for five years. When? When he was fighting. And that's very common, especially in boxers. And that's why he said, I'm going to fuck you till you love me. Because <laughs> yeah. he wanted him to come. Well, yeah. you'd be, you'd be, So there's a lot of little things like that you look, find out when you kind of look into NoFap. You're like, oh, this isn't look, just some fair. weird thing where people are trying to like get better and stop being addicted to porn. There's like some guys that are like, yeah, when I've got like an athlete, like a track meet or whatever, and I'm an athlete, they're like for the last three. Some people are like three weeks before, I don't wank, I don't have sex, and that's fine. And they, and there's and there's no. But that's not strictly know, semen retention, though. You get you, like I wouldn't bracket them in the same as like, you know, semen retention. Like there is that like that, that that practice, but it's like, you know, for a week you're gonna focus on just eating meat and veg, or just have a very strict diet because you're going to go into you know. Um, like you're gonna do some, sh- you're gonna go to a show for bodybuilding. Mm-hmm. You're not strictly a fucking, I don't know, uh, a cave. You're not doing the caveman diet, even though you might traditionally you might be doing the caveman diet. So you know what I mean? Like it's like it yeah, yeah, yeah. fits the, the purpose, it fits the bill, but it's not. Yeah, but a lot of these guys, you know, I wouldn't hear about them unless they said specifically, "I'm yeah. doing this for yeah. that reason." Like there'd be some guys out there that are like, "It's a one percent thing, that, right?" Where they're just like. I'm not thinking about it, but I'm just not wanking. Imagine if um, Bradford, I think it was a Dave Bradford, was so, told his cyclist, don't come. Yeah, no come. No come for two weeks. Yeah. Might have it, One but, percent. But, uh, let me just add Do in, you want to win a medal or no, come? There's no, uh, as far as I know, there's no um, like statistical 
proof that it's a benefit. But all these people, you know, individually went, I think it does something, so I'm going to do yeah. it. And, so And look, I think I think it's a – look, honestly – To me, I don't give a shit. I just go, I don't care about stats here. If you feel like you work better being Logan Paul or the Wolf of Wheel Street, wanking twice a day, great. But ask yourself – if you're wanking two, three times a day, one, two, three times a day, and you're like, yeah, I don't really enjoy wank, wanking. I don't <clears throat> actually kind of get satisfaction out of it as soon as I, like literally as soon as you come, you're like, now I've got to fucking clean up and like this wasn't that good and it wasn't that rewarding and, you know, this wasn't a good time. You know, you're not really productive. You don't really like doing it. You kind of just do it because you're like, oh, it's got to wank nap or got to go to sleep and, you know, for about time kind of thing. Guess I'll do it. Or you're like, I just woke up. I might have a wank. It's like, maybe it's not a good thing. Mm. You know, so I'm not saying, I'm not on the camp of like, all wanking's bad. I just know that there's a lot of motherfuckers out there, especially young dudes. And I consider us in that group. And I think anyone basically like 35 and under, you know, in that group, um, not specifically young dudes, but people that should probably think about it um, because they've had pretty easy access to porn. Uh, it could be something you might want to try. Mm. Um, and if you don't, no dramas. And if you do, sweet. Um, yeah. The subreddit NoFap is actually quite good. Not often I recommend Reddit. Um, Full of fucking assholes. Yeah, it's a lot of fuckwits. Lefty the, gens. The, the NoFap subreddit is actually really good. Um, you get a lot of help. Um and there's some really good, just sort by like top and like of all time. And you'll probably come across some like success stories, some tips on how to, you know, clock on um, and a lot of other little bits and bobs. So yeah. if you want to do it, just read the subreddit for an hour, dive in and go, yeah. cool. And that's Because you'll hear some fucking horror stories up the top of people being like, I'm 40 and I'm fucking struggling. My life's in ruins now. You'll hear people who are like, I'm 22. I've done this for the last two years. I haven't, I haven't wanked in, you know, fucking 400 days. Um, the first, you know, week was really bad. The first day, the first day was really bad. I kept relapsing every fucking day for, you know, a month, but I was really conscious of it. I just kept fucking trying. And then I got to three days relapse, but you know, you know, that's the story. Most people fuck up after like a couple of days, but I think the best tip is to think about, if you've got Instagram or if you know, for example, like those fucking meme TikToks that pop up and then they've always got fucking titties in the in the profile pic, uh, the thumbnail. Report them. Which, like, so you can like, you can say not interested. Uh, yeah. Okay. I actually didn't know that. Okay. There you go. Um, you could just fucking like get rid of the Instagram or the Reddit porn or the, you know, whatever other shit, you, 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 whatever. I don't have Instagram, you know, your Facebook pages, if you've liked them. Don't look at them. Yeah. And if you want to go extreme, Can just uninstall them. A methodic, methodic, methodical steps. Mm -hmm. So to build a habit, you need to make it obvious, attractive, easy, and um, satisfying, right? To break a habit, you need to make it not obvious. So that's obfuscate. Obs, 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 fuck me. Ob, obs, You'll get there. This, I use this word so many times. Is it on time. the board? I can't see it. Of of this fuck what the fuck is this coffee or sleep deprivation? Of oh. is it on the board. No, it's obfuscation. No, it's of because I'm overthinking the word right now. We we can't we can't unpark this. You're good. Just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. He'll get there. Obfuscate. Of obfuscation. Obfuscation. I don't think like. Yeah, if you obfuscate that, I usually don't. I use the word obfuscation. I don't even know if it's a word actually. That was fucking a bad time. That was embarrassing. That was a bad trip. I felt like that. I really feel like watching that guy, the black guy. He's like, <laughs> like he's like got a really bad stutter. Makes me feel really sad every time. Like I see that video. I'm like, he looks like a cool guy. Yeah. And uh, he can't talk. Yeah. That was me. Um. So <laughs> if you make it not obvious. If you'd make it unattractive. Now, I don't know how you can make, you know, wanting to wank unattractive. Maybe you go like, maybe you hate redheads or you don't. Well, just think about the consequences of what, if you do it, what will happen afterwards. Well, no, because you, you, you don't have even done the wanking yet. Like if you're pulling out material, mm. pull like grannies only, you know. Oh, uh, I gotcha. I see you know, or you, you know, someone who's not your type. And then you're like, well, 
if I'm gonna do it, I have to slog through this. Then maybe that's gonna do some psychological things. But like you're trying, the effect is I don't want to do it. Um, don't make it easy. You know, like, like Tim said, I'll, you know, get rid of shit or you know, you can only wank with your opposite hand. They'll fucking set you straight. Um, and make it unsatisfying. <laughs> Unless you're a skilled individual like myself. And then you'll break that habit, you know. But obviously, before you even get to the, like, the reward step or the, you know, the anti-reward in this case, um, like, just make it difficult to achieve. Yeah, or uncomfortable. Yeah. And I think what you were saying about, it even applies back to what we were saying before. It's full circle, guys. It's a fully thought out podcast. Um, this was the plan all along. No fap in a way is like a 1% benefit, right? You're not, like, literally... To be get better every single day, and it's like an easy win, right? To get better every single day, I just need to not wank. That's literally not doing something, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, like right. literally, you literally. You literally just have to not do something. Yeah. Which means it takes, if you're good, zero effort and thought. Yeah. Because cause then you go, okay, I want to go wank. It's like, oh, but that plan wasn't supposed to. Why do I want to do it? And then you can go, hmm. I'm bored or this is what I used Yeah, to like do. literally go, this is against the plan, guys. What, why we're we doing it? So that's that's what literally like that's why another reason why I want to do it is like quick win, right? Like literally doing nothing. And I guess like if you started with that, you could then if you're a smoker or you're an alcoholic, imagine to stop wanking because that's I don't know what's the easiest vice. And I guess it goes into the two minute rule or the, the snowballer rule where you, you you know you break something off, and you chip chip at it, and you chip out something a little bit bigger. Then over time, it's like you know it, it compounds and gets bigger and bigger. You can start with one vice or one addiction and then you can go to another one and the third one. And then maybe from not wanking for, you know, as long as you can because you, you, you have sex with your wife enough or maybe you don't. Um, by not wanking, you might set yourself out because you're not spending time thinking about, you know, having a wank. And maybe you might spend, you know, a few weeks. That's all you can think about because like, that's what you're, uh, uh, you know, focused on. But once your life starts getting better, because it's not getting better from wanking. Like, wank, like, if I'm honest, wanking doesn't really benefit, like, outcomes in life all that much. doesn't make your life better. doesn't ease your mortgage. <laughs> like, you might be able to jack off the fucking mortgage broker. I don't know. But it's not, It's not like, that's not wanking. That's not yourself either. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Well, I am the mortgage broker. But th- that's why I think just that little... Um, and then you can apply little- it to smoking and... See, yeah, uh, I just think that little caveat of like, if you know you think clearer having a wank because you might make a rash decision, no dramas. You're like, should I buy this house or should I propose yeah. to this? Or sh- should I have unprotected, you know, like, so, so should I have dinner with this chick? Sometimes people are going to be like, oh, I just wanted to bust a nut. I actually think she's quite ugly, but I was just horny. It happened to everyone. Yeah, and I think that's fine. Like, as long as you clarify, you don't make some bullshit excuses going... Oh, I need it. I need it, man. Yeah. You sound sound like a fucking meth addict. Yeah. You know, and that's why I probably sound like to myself. I'm like, come on, man. Just, just do it, man. Maybe I think, but I don't think it's that bad with most people. I think it's just so no, passive. Yes, yeah, I'm it's saying just, it's, you've it's, been doing it. It's not even like this smeagle within you. It's just like ah, oh, just time to go away. Oh, here you and go. Just Here's an easy one. Don't bring your phone into wherever the you... The bathroom. The bathroom. Or your shower or... Or bed, to bed. bed yeah. Or fucking... I don't know. That's a good, that's a really Literally. Good that, then that makes it not easy. Or either. your laptop or your iPad to lo- revisit those upskirt shots or whatever. Uh, no, that's child porn, dude. Yeah, but if you're 14 and you're listening to this... Who wanks to that? No. Are you kidding? I never wanked that's to that. That's all I wanked to. But again, I wasn't a porn guy, so... You wanked to... Absolutely, Girls' dude. knickers. Oh, dude, I would wait to fucking anything. I was a fiend. Keep in mind, you were like 12, so... Well, well I don't know. I was like strictly 12, but you're not yeah. 24 wanking to it now. I yeah, mean. I was like 13, 14. Because you I was are the burning that iPad, motherfucker. You better, that? you better... I'm even going to warn you. I'm just burn. I'm just going to burn it. I was going to say, you better get the important stuff off there, but that is the important stuff, so <laughs> burn. <laughs> I don't know if you still got it, but I don't even know if you have the iPad. No, I, I actually went through it and I got so many memes, like 2012. 2012 memes, dude. <laughs> it's the fucking... full of memes. And I'm like, I know I sent a lot of these to Jackson. It was just yeah, so funny. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yes, okay. I hope we That's helped. a really good tip. That's a it's good tip. for me. Um, what was the tip? Oh, well, you said, which is, you know, if you're go- if wherever you're going to wank and you know you're kind of, it's about that time, um, don't bring your phone or whatever you watch porn on. Mm. Um, this will suck for those who have 
do the old imagination thing, you're going to have to just fucking knock it out. And just, I don't mean that's a bad phrase to use, but you know, you're going to have to just realize that there's no excuses. You can't not bring your phone in. You can't just look. I'll be like, honest. I don't think too. I mean, you go, well, of course it's not, but. I feel like people who imagine are like who use the imagination are kind of like a bit boring, so they probably don't wank as much as people who watch porn. Yeah, I think you're probably, less, I think you're probably right. There's less satisfaction. There's Cause, less because I never when I was a teenager, I didn't I didn't religiously wank every day. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like I'd go a couple of days without doing it, but then when I did, I'd be like, yeah, it's fucking one to five times a day kind of thing. Yeah. Um, Dude, well, here's a question. This is getting real personal, but it's good, funny, personal. How many times do you know what your record is for wanking a day? I know mine was seven, and I and it was the same. Funny enough, with sex, I cracked. I tried eight. I could not do it. I think four or five. I hurt my penis. Yeah, like I was like, this is hurting. Yeah, I've um yeah, seven you, hurt, you, and I I finished her off. Yeah, you break it. You break your knob. Yeah. Things hurt. It yeah. hurts to pierce. It hurts to like. <laughs> Get a hard on because it hurts. Dude, yeah, yeah, it's not fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I've, I think four or five. Yeah, you break your dick, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's no fun. Yeah, it's no. at the stage where I, I was like, yeah, yeah, I used to. I must have been like fifteen or something. Yeah, well, I've, had I've, home. I think I was like home alone. You like get, my you parents get home, were gone for a couple of alone. days. Literally, you get home first one home. I remember home I alone. legit thought I was like right. I'm home alone all Saturday or whatever it was. And I'm like, I'm good. I've got the entire day. And I was like, I'm structuring this. I'm wanking a lot. I'm real horny. You know, and I was just like yeah, sending it. Fill that up, dude. Filthy, mate. It was fucking filthy. Anyway. Um, okay, cool. Well. At least you didn't make a fucking, we didn't talk about it, but the brony collection. with the, People wanking jars, We've dude. talked about it before. Fucking disgusting. Gross. Stop know. it. Yeah, let's get our shit out of here. For cool. your own benefit. Okay, so yeah. Um, so you, when are you, what's your plan with me? So you want to see her what, how often, every other week basically? What's this got to do with it? Not wanking. I'm not going to wank. Yeah. It's got, oh, oh, tell me that has something to do with me. Why? Your nuts are part of you, right, my guy? Yeah, sure, but you like, I was just like segmenting that to like whatever, like. Whatever happened with Megs or not Megs, I'm, like, I'm, not be, I'm not even going to tell her about this. Yeah, yeah, it's sure. not going to change anything. You say that now. It'll change things for the better, my guy. Have faith in Tim. I'm saying for like, like, hey, I'm not, because I really hate, like, I really, really hate, like, Megs or, you know, for any, 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 any circumstance. Someone clip that. I um, really, really no, hate Megs. I just don't like feeling like, you know, I hate that, the, you know, the whole thing about, you know, w- women aren't satisfied from sex. They're only there to satisfy the man and, like, we'll only have sex from doing it. I've heard we- way too many times. Yeah, they feel like many- it's a chore. Yeah, I'm like, and that really fucking de- depresses me. So that's, a, a, I guess, another subconscious reason why I don't want to do it. It's like, if I'm not interested, I'm not saying not interested. Oh, like, sorry, sorry. Let me let me clarify that. So you're saying you you have less of a problem wanking because you're like, well, if I caught up with Meeks and she didn't want to have sex, then that's fair enough because I don't want to feel like I'm pressuring yeah. her into it. So yeah. I'll have a wank. So I'm less like yeah. So pressure so or I, whatever. I'm gonna have to. It's gonna be fucking a trog because if I'm not and I'm still like wanting to feed that id. Urge. I, I we're not gonna talk about it now because I don't have the specifics in front of me. But I'll get you to read a couple of chapters of the book mm-hmm. I'm reading, yeah. and I think you'll it'll. Yeah, but, but I don't want to tell her because it's not a part. She's not a part of the journey. That's she's not a part of this journey with me. Yeah, fair. You might say she is, but it's like no, because then no, she might no. feel like she's servicing, serving that need, and it's like that's not what you're here for. Yeah, dude. she'll be you're impacted good. by the journey you're on, but it's not you and her yeah, journey. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, I'm not here to like make you be a part of this when you shouldn't, because like that's not. <laughs> you know, and especially because the whole this specific just to take the nofap thing, you know that journey, right? This individual thing. That part is you not doing something. So if she was part of this journey of you not doing something, all she has to do is do nothing as well. <laughs> so <laughs> there is literally so, so, no point. Yeah. So unless she because all the... she could do is tempt you, bitch. Like she could just I don't know if she sends nudes or whatever you know. No. Like, so like that would just be a negative in that sense. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but like again, to me in that sense, I'm like, 
that's a fine excuse to have a wank if you guys are like, I'm not saying you specifically, but people out there, if they've just had a, you know, a bit of a rocky pit of the relationship, they've just kind of sorted some stuff out and they've just gone, you know, we've just rekindled, the fire is roaring. And, yeah. you know, now you're starting to like get a bit frisky, you know, you're sending a bit of dirty text that would work and whatever, or, you know, sending a few cheeky, um, you know, photos in the bathroom kind of thing. Fair enough. Cool. Mm. Um, but it's just like most people, if you actually try no fap, you'll really gain very quickly a knowledge on like where your limits are. You're like, right. I, I know I'm not abusing this stuff because some people go cold turkey and they go done. I'm never touching this again. And they'll rarely do it. And that's their mission. And some guys are like, you know, I just want to control this. So I'm like, I'm good. I'm going to be like, I'm going to hold off for six months. But after that, you know, some guys are like, yeah, I just have a wank every two weeks and I'm good. I just really needed that reset, big reset, and I'm good. Yeah. So you can, you know, I just think maybe don't have a real hard goal, but just be like, be open-minded and be like, yeah, I might not wank again. Yeah. Or I might just be like, I might wank once re- a week. You can or- just relegate it to those who watch porn. You can just relegate it to imagination. And if like, you're like, oh, I can't finish it. It's like, well, keep going, bud. Mm. If you're like, oh, I tried with, and I couldn't do anything. It's like, well, keep going because mm. you're clearly not there yet. Because you get to the point where imagination will do it for you. Then yeah, you're, you're saying, otherwise you're really trying too hard or you've got some, a deeper, deeper problem. Yeah, and it's like more of a, like a, a reset, right? Like you're making it not easy. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So, All right. yeah. Um, the plan true. is starting tomorrow, today. No wanks. I'm going to start glowing, guys. If I don't see record... Sorry. Tri- sorry. If I don't see record set at the gym, if I don't see... <laughs> 20 kilos put on in pure muscle. Yeah, pure. This whole thing is f- fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not anecdotally, factually. It's a joke. It's a joke. Um, but yeah, sorry, just to go back quickly. Uh, when What's your plan with Meigs? For those that don't know, Reagan is in this state. She's in another state. They have to drive a few hours to mean? see each other. With no plan. We're, we're... But roughly, is it like every other week you guys someone Every sees... two weeks we'll see each other. I uh, it depends on whether what's on, right? Like it's it's really hit obviously, or miss, obviously, right? obviously. So, but at, on average, it's kind of roughly every two weeks. Yeah, cool. All right. Tim's um, thinking about when Taylor's coming over. <laughs> yeah, good point. No, but I'm just thinking about you with um, uh, wet dreams. What do you mean? Uh, well, some people, if they're on semen retention, right? <clears throat> they don't wank. They well, don't have a it's... girlfriend. And they so they will they'll eventually have a wet dream, but some guys don't wank and they have sex with their girlfriend, you know, whatever, once a week, once every other week, once every three weeks, kind of thing. And they don't have a wet dream, you know, they have one in six months because they have sex every now and then. Do you want me to have wet dreams? Because I don't, I don't think it matters, but. if if you are going to see you're missing if you don't do what happened last year which is you go five months then you're probably not going to have a wet dream but I'm just saying if you have a wet dream it's not the end of the day it's not a big deal yeah I'm not, I'm not too and upset it's a good time it. to clean your sheets yeah that's true you're like you know what this is just a oh, sign I came in I shat damn <laughs> <laughs> and they're together. I gotta clean now. They're like mixed in together. It's not one on they're top of solution. me. Solution. It's disgust. It's yeah. not even brown poo anymore. All right, cool. Um, should we crack onto the news? <laughs> news time. Do you have some um, notes, or is that for later? No, this is for you. Yeah. Okay. Um, some news, fellas. All now right. we'll crack on with the news because. This is an unconventional episode, and we'll we'll make this short, as you yeah, guys the, can see. Yeah, the convention that was a conventional for like seven episodes. What do you mean? We always do news at the start. For like the last seven, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, news. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, we've got three bits of news. You can see it in the title. You guys know what you're talking about. All right. Uh, video game news. Let's crack on with that one quickly. Um, this is an intro. This is a three-hour long intro. That you hate. <laughs> no, because we'll title this, you know, NoFap and the beginnings of NoFap or something like that. True. So it's not bait. Uh, back to the news. Back to the news. All right. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 6 confirmed. Let me ramble here for a minute. Uh, it's confirmed in development. Uh, funnily enough, on a GTA 5 update. 
uh, community post. Okay, that's where the confusion got because I read the whole thing and I had like autism reading it. Yeah, I should have I should have tagged in the Discord at the <laughs> bottom part. I was like, because you probably read that. It's all about GTA Five. I was like, what? I know, I know. So anyway, uh, so they they did that um, announcement on the fourth of February, so like our fifth. So this is only like two days ago for us. Um, <clears throat> so here's the quote. All right. So again, funny that it was on the. <laughs> this is the first official announcement from Rockstar that it was on a GTA 5 uh, update mm. uh, community post, which is quite funny. Anyway, the, the, the little quote at the bottom of the uh, update was, with the unprecedented longevity of GTA 5, we know many of you have been asking us about a new entry in the Grand Theft Auto series. With every new project we embark on, our goal is always to significantly move beyond what we have previously delivered. And we are pleased to confirm that active development for the next entry in the Grand Theft Auto series is well underway. We look forward to sharing more as soon as we are ready. So please stay tuned to Rockstar Newswire for official details. Uh, uh, let me just quickly note, GTA 5 came out on the 17th of September of 2013. Just keep that in mind. So it's been going for close to a decade. 13? Yeah, because the Xbox came out in yeah. 14. So there you go. Quite fascinating, huh? I can't believe that, dude, because it's still like a revolutionary game. I never finished it because like, I had bought it on Xbox 360. Yeah. Xbox One came out. I think I, I think I waited. I think I... Because I got it on Xbox One. I remember I got my brother to get it for me. Yeah. Because it was R18 in Australia. Tim was a rich kid, so he was able to have an Xbox One. I wasn't. <laughs> what do you mean? I fucking worked for that, my guy. At 12. You're, you know what? You people fucking disgust you me. People. You people. Okay. You Racist. Disgusting uh, people. Racist. I was actually talking about with Mars. Tim. I was talking with Mars. Microaggressions, Tim. Yeah, good. <laughs> You're weak if you can't take He's it. such a right-leaning person, guys. <sighs> Here in the mid, in the in the in the middle, I consider myself a mid 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 Let me give you your tiara, my guy. Um, I was talking to Mars about this time. <laughs> so I bought a PSP. Oh, vibes. Which uh, one? Uh, I can't fucking. The Vita. Remember. No, no, no. This is like 2010, 2009, ish, maybe 2011. Um, and my sister bought a Nintendo DS. So we worked delivering papers to get the money for this and doing chores around the house kind of thing. Um, I had the money. I saved. I scrimped and saved my little fucking money. We had to go lay by uh, and buy that. I think it was Officeworks, um, funnily enough. Um, anyway, so we went on lay by to do it. Okay. So I had enough money that I was like good to go. My sister didn't. All right. She didn't scrimp and save like Timbo. All right. Because Timbo's a Jew. I'm a Jew. I fucking saved that shit, my guy. And guess what? It paid off. I got the PSP. But you know what didn't pay off? Mars, my dad, just went, you know, he just went, oh, you guys good to go. Let's go get it. We've, you know, been talking about this for months. Let's go get what it. What was she getting? A Nintendo DS. Anyway, we get there. That's even I cheaper. have the money. I'm good. I, I can vaguely remember she didn't have the money or enough. But I was like, whatever, we'll deal with it. Mars might shout kind of thing. My dad might shout her, like, and fill in the gap. Anyway, so it comes up to the desk, you know, blah, blah, here's your fucking money. And I hand over cash, and he's probably like, what the fuck is going on? Why is this cash? And whatever. Anyway, she comes up to Charles. She doesn't have enough. My dad just goes, oh, Tim, you're going to have to fill in the gap. And I go, what? I remember at the time I was fucking fuming, dude. I was so pissed off. I was like, dude. I fucking saved. And so my dad starts talking to the guy and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And my sister was like pulling faces, being like, ah, go fuck yourself kind of thing. Like, you, I'm getting your fucking money to fucking Because she would be like 12 or 13. So she, she was fucking, only like, yeah. She would be like taking the, you know, taking the L. Yeah, you. and I was like, are you fucking? So I was fuming. So I basically, no, I didn't put all the money for it. But I had to basically fucking pay for her thing, which then meant we both didn't have enough money to get it that day. So we had to then wait another like two or three so weeks. So you left, at, left the counter. Yeah, we left the counter saying, oh, yeah, you don't have enough to like collect the PSP or the Nintendo DS today, but that's cool. You can come back in a few weeks and you'll be good kind of thing, something like that. I can't remember the exact details, but I was like pissed because I knew I could have got it and I was good. I sorted out my end. I have nothing to do with and you. And this making... created Tim's anger towards 
absolute women and girls, specifically girls. He hates girls. He hates the uh, governments who serve their people, who provide Centrelink benefits and healthcare benefits. Get him out! Because they didn't provide, because Tim paid for them and he's not sick. That's right. He's not jobless. <laughs> Yet. And uh, they're taxing him and telling him how to spend his money when he knows how to spend his money quite well. Quite clearly. Criminals. I will buy a PSP as a 10-year-old. And that's how it's hey, Adolf. I pay taxes as, as a 10-year-old. I pay GST. Why can't I vote? Taxation without representation? Think about it. Anyway. Sorry, Tim. You had representation to your parents because you. That's fine. Anyway. All right. Uh, that's fine. Sorry. That's a sidetrack. Um, that was great. I like that. <laughs> it yeah. sounds eerily similar to Adolf Hitler's uh, childhood story. <laughs> he know. was getting the GameCube, though. He was what? Getting the GameCube? <laughs> oh, my God. That's the yeah. best console, I still believe. No, anyway. no, so not Adolf, uh, Stalin. Joseph Stalin. <laughs> Did you say Stalin? Stalin. Okay, good. All right, next bit of news. Sniper Elite 5. Uh, what the fuck is Sniper Elite? Okay, yeah, good question. Ray. I've never heard of it before. Okay, <laughs> it's uh, only like those hot, hot fudge. Okay, uh, the official is <laughs> it like Sniper Ghost Warrior. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of. It's just more sniper orientated. Um, okay, <laughs> which sniper sounds goes... funny because it's sniper Ghost Warrior. Anyway. It's pretty, pretty sniper, sniper orientated. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the official cinematic trailer <laughs> came out on the twenty sixth of January. Uh, official gameplay trailer came out December the eleventh. So about a you know good month before that. So you can see the official cinematic trailer. Looks cool enough. I didn't link the gameplay, I don't think, or maybe I did. Um, looks cool. If you like the games, um, this looks like an updated version. Now I saw some people kind of complaining about World War Two being the theme again because that was the last theme. Good. What's uh, wrong with World War Two being themes? Ah, uh, th some people are just kind of like having a surf saying. I want zombie in armor and powered by electricity. Yeah, they just. I think some people are a bit sick of World War Two being a thing. I think some people are like, why not just show Korea or something? You know, whatever. That's a point there. Or well, the Korean War. Yeah, because, you know, we don't often see the Korean. Vietnam would be good to go back to because really, like, I've, there's not been too many of them. Give me some well. wacky song fucking stories. It would be so good. Anyway. What? Um, there oh, is a, yeah, those fellas. There is a good game that came out that is like um, kind of like an insurgency kind of type of, you know, gameplay, not, um, you know, loot kind of thing, but like gunplay um, set in the Vietnam War. Um, it's not, it, it wasn't like AAA, but it was quite good. Anyway, <clears throat> forget what it was called. Someone will remember. Um, so it's set in May 1944. Uh, like the others of the series and the title, you're a, you're a sniper. You're a, you're a, you're a lad. You're killing people. You're an elite. Uh, it's pretty fucking cool. So uh, you get to fucking sneak around, shoot fucking people in the fucking head, and you get X-ray vision of shooting them in the head or shooting them in the balls, <coughs> and you get to see a, a testicle explode. Like someone, Mortal Kombat. Or someone's, yeah, kind of like Mortal Kombat. Um, you see someone's liver fucking explode. You see their eyeball explode when you fucking shoot them. It's pretty cool. Um, we don't have a release date, but it comes out sometime in 2022. Mm. So if that kind of sounds interesting, sneak it around, single player, fucking shoot people in the face, look at the gameplay, uh, have a little squiz. Looks interesting. Anyway, next bit of news, we have got uh, a movie. Marvel's Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness official trailer. What a title. Uh, looks spicy. Uh, general story kind of looks like consequences of fucking with reality. Seems to kind of combine the WandaVision TV show. And the Loki. And, and the Loki TV show, especially uh, Kang the Conqueror character. Um, and the Spider-Man consequences of uh, what was the last one called I'm forgetting Far From Home spite of it no Far From Home it was Far From Home yeah um, <clears throat> No Way Home something home <coughs> it wasn't Homecoming Homer Simpson it was not Homecoming No Way Home <laughs> one of them you guys the most recent Spider-Man with um, the boys in it you know what I'm saying spoilers uh, the so boys weren't in it what's that the boys weren't in it I just boys is on Amazon Prime dude no, I'm talking about the boys, meaning um, uh, Doc Hawk. You've got um, William Defoe. Oh, so not the boys, just they're the boys. 
the gentlemen. That's a good one. Oh, no, no, they are the boys. They're the OG, the boys. Especially man. William Drip Defy. Have you been seeing those memes? No. Oh, my God. I will make a note I've of that. I've seen... Um, Hang on. William... Psycho. American Psycho. William Defoe. Um, been oh, yeah. some... I need to watch that movie. some fun shit. We can watch it here. Um, yeah, cool. Okay. William Drip Defoe. Uh, oh, my God. That's great. i got to show you that after that. It's hilarious. Okay. Yeah. Um, so supposedly this uh, Doctor Strange movie has the largest body count for uh, a Marvel movie. Body count? Meaning the most amount of characters and actors. Not like off the set piece, like um, extras, but the most amount of uh, characters. So there's rumoured, ready for this? You ready for this? Mm. Rumoured X-Men. Ooh! Fantastic Four. Oh, okay. Okay. And Wait, then, and Michael then B. Even, Jordan. And then even, ready for this? What? That even, maybe, a rumor, Ben Affleck's Daredevil. Okay. Hang on. So the release date is on 6th of May, 2022. Question. Right, that's all the news for that. Go for it. Okay. What are they going to do, right? So you got Loki. Do you know how Loki can be a crocodile? Like from the multiverse, um, to you split from Kang being, you know, killed or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, like his crocodile and different different dudes. Sometimes a chick. Sometimes he's like a fucking wizard. Are you gonna see Michael B. Jordan as Fantastic Four? In Fantastic Four, um, maybe because, because that, that, that 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 could be a plausible de- like de- deny like a deny like a plausible. It's a different denial. universe. Well, yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, what the fuck? Is that one my guy? It's like, nah, I'm fucking a good guy. Yeah. It's like, what? It's like, Flame welcome on, to the guy. multiverse, motherfucker. Yeah. And it's like, I just happen to be this guy. Yeah. And, you know, uh, because, uh, you know, it's not, it's like strictly saying like the per- like the fucking Peter Parker or the war, was his name, Warmonger? In my universe is a white guy or fucking some other dude. Mm. Like, it's like that, that, that dude who's assigned to it is not me. It's like, I'm. Like in a different multiverse, I'm a different you know? dude. Because, yeah. for example, like that's to me. Like, I'm like, how's that work? But then I realized, like, Loki literally had a crocodile as yeah, a Loki, a Loki. So, yeah. I'm like, it's not that far of a stretch to say. <laughs> I think an it's actor, less of a stretch an actor than can be replayed. Yeah, you know, for example, Peter Parker's right. Yeah, there was three different looking Peter Parkers. They're not the same Peter Parker. They're a different looking Peter Parker. So again, yeah, I would love and to. And they're see... not in the same universe, sadly. <clears throat> what do you mean? It's not much of a. Because the boys are remember Doc Ock and William Defoe. Yeah, it's not much of a you know spoiler. Pound sand bitches. <laughs> spoiler. Those, you know what I mean? Spo- like those people. Like, yeah, but they, I know what you're and saying. You're gonna get both lots of um, Fantastic Four. So you're gonna get a Chris would, Evans. Uh, human Torch. As Human Torch. And, and Michael B. Say, Jordan as Human Torch. There was a lot of rumors. <laughs> and I didn't put it in the news. There's some rumors saying they kind of want to bring Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr. back. Um, there's a lot of ifs and buts. Kevin Feige, the guy who's kind of spearheading Marvel, um, he he he, he kind of shut it down. But there's still rumors about it. So why? I, as in, like, get him from a different universe, and you know, he's my boy. What I don't understand is, I think he's done. John Favreau and and fucking Robert, Robert Downey Jr. started this whole thing. Yeah, literally. Not and even I kidding. think I think Robert had a good send off. Yeah, I think he. Good I think character. he was. I think he was done. For that character. Yeah. But, like, it's sad. Like, he literally started this whole thing with John Favreau. Yeah. I am one. And now that fucking Happy's just turned into a useless character. God. Yeah, I feel like that's his own thing as well. I feel like John Favreau's like, oh, I'm done with this too. Yeah, he just do a hug. It's like, it's not Because I think he's more on the creative, the behind the scenes side. Oh, he's got the, he's got a whole, he's got the whole lot, of, the, literally all of Star Wars to do now. Yeah. Like, he's like, sent off. It's He's a whole like, thing. Fuck, these guys are it's a part whole of thing. Where it's like okay, either you live, you know, live and like you know, you die a hero or live long enough to become the villain. I think he's like, well, MCU's, I'm done. Whatever. Like I've they kind of closed character. it off. Yeah. Like I'm done with this. This is my creative piece. I've done my one arc. I've done, I've given them my fucking ten years or whatever. It's like now he's like being basically assigned the Star Wars franchise. So it's like I'm gonna fucking start nailing this, resuscitate and revive this fucking mess. Mm. Like Clone Wars, perfect, but you know the last set, the last three episodes fucking suck. Mm. Um, but Mandalorian's brought it back, fucking. Um, Wait, sorry, what did you say? Clone Wars sucked. No, I'm saying it's good. 
the last three episodes sucked. Of? of Sorry, episode 789 of, of the TV and movie, movies. Oh, of the movies, right? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I thought you were talking about the last episodes of Clone Wars. And, I'm like, and then, and then, right? You've obviously got to pick it back up with Mando. You got to pick it up with Boba Fett. And there's other new projects, you know, Obi Wan. Yep. So yeah, Kenobi yeah. show. So um, I can imagine, like, you know, he's got a lot on his plate. Yeah. Let us get to that in just a minute. Yep. Quickly recap, so I, I can timestamp and close off news. GTA Six. Would you get it? No. Nah, okay. I don't care. Sniper Elite Five. I would like to try it out, but I don't know. I, I might. If it was on sale, you might check it out. Yeah, I, w- I want to give uh, Witcher 3 a full run through first. Fair enough. And Marvel's Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness? Definitely want to watch that. Okay, cool. Very invested. But, 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 but done. Now, I want to talk about Boba Fett because um, there's still new episodes coming out for it. Haven't seen it, my man. Okay, you haven't watched it still? No. Um, all right. Well. Because uh, I'm still watching it. I'm all caught up. Um, but I new episode we are watching on. Clone Wars. Yes. On Disney Plus, And it's a great time. So Tim and I are watching that together from the start. Because I haven't seen it. I wish we actually started with the movies. But I'm glad we started with the TV show straight away. Maybe we can invest. Because in we it. can just watch like two seasons and then go, ah, just fucking watch the movies. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty good. I fucking love it. And it, it, it definitely adds that like, you know, full... You know, double play, backstab, fucking stuff that happens. You know, at the chancellor really fleshes out, fleshes out, the, and like the, the politics the as well. News, yeah. But it's like it, the, the politics is huge, but also it's like adds embold, embolders and serves okay. um, Anakin. I think because I like I I haven't I need to watch it again to like really deeply understand the first few movies and it'd be like shields oh, so good shields would be like wanking over Anakin, but like he to me seems like a pussy. Like literally got sad. About a couple of things, and he's like, "Well, I'm gonna be a bad guy now." It's like you're a fucking fucking loser. Yeah. Like you could have not been sad. He's such a lad. You couldn't have. You could have not been sad, and you didn't have to choke your wife to death. And but that's not why she died. She died because she was sad because, because she, she became lost evil. the will to live. Because he because became. She me- lost faith in Anakin. In, well, no, because she still said there's still good in him, Obi Wan. But yeah, she, she got sad and died because he became evil. And then he got sad because she died. Like, just don't get evil, dude. Yeah. Why do you choose a fucking crusty man, man? Like, why would you choose that over fucking Samuel L. Jackson? That's the first mistake. Why would you pick stinky ass? And she- maybe in the Clone Wars, it makes more sense because he's like, Anakin. Like, you know, doing special favors. But she was 14 and he was nine when they met. I don't care. It doesn't matter. So she was young. Obi-Wan's like 24. Yeah, that's fine. Max Windows probably like. Yeah, but fucking Palpatine's a fucking crusty, one. crusty fucking sauerkraut demon, dude. Yeah, but she's not. Oh, right. He's same. literally like a piece of white bread that's been stuck on my shoe and like been dried up. That's him. But that's he, he so how can it, you trust him? He tells a good story. Him? I don't care. He tells a good story. He's got a fucking. Have you? He's a black guy with a purple Darth lightsaber. How can you go against that? Have you told? Have you been told the story of Darth Plagueis the Wise, Reagan? I don't care. He's an evil dude. It's not a Jedi a story. Of the Jedi would tell him. That's all I can say, my man. Pound sand. Because <laughs> you know who would have told me? Mace Windu. He didn't but guess know. what? He didn't know. Guess what? Because he fucking got thrown off a building. Yep. Not interested. Don't care. He lived, my guy. 100% that guy lived. All I'm saying he is... He ain't a pussy. I'm disappointed in Anakin and his shit decisions. Yeah, but you... I am disgusted. You, you'll come to appreciate them way more with the Clone Wars. Yeah, but you see Giga Chat Anakin in Clone Wars, so how can he be see fucking such a loser in episode three? Huh? You 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 see. I understand he was upset and turmoil You'll see. You'll and frustrated see. because he was no longer he was not you given, don't understand. he was not put on the council. You don't understand. You'll see. But to be honest, I feel like they put the Clone Wars in between two and three. Mm. And I to be clear, I haven't seen all of it. But <laughs> Hang on, what episode are you on? What are we on? Like eight? <laughs> No, hang on, hang on. Let's see this hot take. He okay, so like they they fucking I made know, episode two. I think I know exactly they made episode three. Episode. He wasn't put on the fucking the council. He got a bit, bit sad, but then the creators like, oh, let's just do like flesh out all the wars between two and three. That'll be a good idea. Dumb because you now you make him look like a Giga Chad, and he's like that explains why cunt's sad. That he's on the Grand Council, but like literally 
you know, in the movies, there's like no, he has no memory. He's like literally <laughs> was 12, got a little fucking uh, Jedi ta- rat's tail. Do you want to know something funny? Learn a couple things. When in the movie, this might be in episode two, um, when uh, Obi-Wan and Anakin fight Count, when Chancellor Palpatine's chained up on the separatist ship. That's three. You, do you rem- that's three. Do you remember when Anakin says, my powers have doubled since we last met? Do you remember that line? No. Okay. He says that to him in that scene. The funny thing is, Clone Wars is canon, and they fought like a week before. Yeah. So it's just quite funny. Um, yeah, right. There's little things like that, because it's technically canon. Um, and it is canon, because, you know, he's a fucking sick cunt. And anyway. I don't care what anyone says. He's a lad. He's got principles, and I can see that in the in the Clone Wars, right? Like chasing over R two. But why is he such a fucking loser in Episode three, on 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 the movie? You'll see. Like I know he loves his droid, right? But why he loves his droid? I think you he are likes, speaking too early. He likes the circus and cheese. <laughs> the bread and the circus? <laughs> no, circus and cheese, okay, man. Yeah, right. But he you gets know? sad and fucking does backflips and fucking cries because he got backstabbed by the guy, and he's like. He found out that the guy that's fucking causing all these issues is that man over there, but he still picks him. Fucking idiot. Mm-hmm. Dumb. You understand. And then he lives the rest of his life as Darth Vader, angry at his fucking life because he literally has to, like, be, he's in constant pain. His wife died because he choked her and fucking made her depressed, and she fucking basically, like, committed suicide by energy. And then he's like, well, I'm just going to fucking kill the rest of the world. Like, what a fucking sad story. Like, Until I know the, the story is about Anakin. Like, it's not about Luke Skywalker. It's about Anakin's fucking, like, it's it's poetic as fuck. And I understand that. And I appreciate that. But it's just like, it's just me. It's like watching a horror film and they do make all the wrong decisions. It's like. Stop tripping over over nothing kind of thing. Yeah, it's like literally I'm in a nightmare. It's mm. like, stop tripping over a fucking yeah. rocky road. Well, I think your opinion will change by the end of The Clone Wars. No, but probably not, though. No, nah, it will. How? Like, I mean, don't spoil it. Obviously, you I'm gotta, not gonna I can't spoil it. But it's I, like, and, and, okay, so Reagan like, hasn't watched it. I've watched most of it. I don't think I've watched every episode. You know, I watched it when it was on TV, not on Netflix, like fucking 10 years ago. Um, good times. So Okay, let me, let me I'll ask you this, right? Yeah. Is it unfair to think? Okay, Jedi Council is these purest fucking rat dogs. Sure. Right? Sure. But I'm not a part of the Jedi. I'm part of the Jedi Council, but, you know, here's the rule. Here's the doctrine. But me as a Jedi, Jedi fucking master, I can do what I want because the Council has these rules, but I'm a part of the, like, I'm part of the Council, but also, like, I have to make my own, like, like a police officer, use my own tuition, uh, intuition to make the right decision whether it's against or against the, the bylaws of the council or not it's like i'm going to do that anyway for example you saw i've seen it like seven times in clone wars you see that in all the movies qui-gon does that uh fucking obi-wan does that anakin does it all the time so it's like okay why can't you live with those standards so it's like why did he pick that fucking rat bread scum cum dude over this doctrination that he always wanted to be a part of uh you'll find out there's some real good details. One, two, and three, right? Yeah. Episode one, two, and three. Oh. Is that I'm sure can, that's enough information? Well, I can see the 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 justification in just the movies. How? I've seen all the movies, so tell me, enlighten me. I think you've got to rewatch it. I don't want to explain. He gets frustrated at the council, but it's like, oh, instead of being a, if I can't join them, it's not just I, that. That's not the only reason. There's more. Okay, he didn't like sand. He got put on this fucking. He was growing up in a sand place. His parents, his uh, his mum got killed by some fucking fellas. The the council. Ooh ooh. Yeah. All right. I'm exhausted from that because I just get emotionally exhausted by bad decisions. Yeah. Just have fun. Why choose the fucking moldy guy? Seriously, <laughs> it's like simple. Look at him. Look at that mold. He's literally like he literally looks like the fucking Captain Jack Sparrow's dad and fucking. Um, so Pirates good. of the Caribbean's too, and you're picking his choice over the fucking Mace Window. After? With the... No, the fight or before? All of it. Before? Get him! In episode one, he was a good looking bloke. You know, but like, no. In episode two, you're like, damn, he aged a lot of. Yeah, this and stuff. then three, you're like, Ugh. yeah, well, after the fight, kill probably, him, yeah. kill him, do it, do it. Yes. Anyway, it's like, all right, so we're gonna watch Clone Wars. Um, we're gonna fucking smack it. 
we're gonna, especially you, are not gonna wank. We're gonna enjoy our fucking time. That's right. We're gonna wank each other. That's a that's a, true. That's, that's little, the that's way little, to get around it. That's a little, you know, like the Utah way, like the fucking Latter Day Saints. What? Seventh Day Adventist. Fucking Mormon, okay. Mormon code. Sure. Get your body to be under your mattress and thrust for you. Yeah, gotcha. And just have your your Enjoy girlfriend. Enjoy it. Okay, cool. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen. It's been good. It's been a fucking pleasure. Don't wank, even if you're a girl. Don't wank. Um, sa- savor the savor the flavor for later. That's good. Savor the flavor for later. That's good. Mm. I like it. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your week. Sayonara. Double deuces. Double deuces.